Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and today we have a very special guest. Yay! It's Dave. Hello. Yay! Welcome, Dave. He's Thanks for having me. Brother-in-law. <laughs> yep. Good to be here. Brother-in-law. I'm my brother. -in -law. I guess my brother-in-law-in-law. -in -law? No, <laughs> I don't know how that. <laughs> how far works. down does that go? I don't know. Mm. Yeah, my sister's husband. Yes. So there we go. And yep. today we're going to be playing some light gun games. Yay, light gun! Yes. <laughs> no, no, Dave is here, man. <laughs> Dave is here. Um, yeah, we're going to be playing some light gun games on the Atari 2600, 7800, and Atari 8-bit computer system. Wow. Cats are here. Cats are ready. And we have an exclusive update for an light gun game homebrew for the 7800 the first ever homebrew light gun game for the 7800 for the 7800 okay. ducks away okay you can imagine what game that mm. might be like <laughs> yes. ducks away yes. with a light gun there may be yes. some hunting of ducks yes. uh, <laughs> a little bit um so we're gonna play a ton of light gun, ga gun games it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, yes, cats, yes. But first, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers scrolling beside Tanya virtually. <laughs> Dave, you can't see it, but it's there. Uh, there it is. Yep. Right here. Uh, a cardboard box, Alan Fur, Andre Atari, Arkham H7, Arms Car Code, Atari, Down at Rules, Atari 9074, Atari Age, Atari's Maximus, Beef Supreme, Bear, Poker, Buffalo Pinball, Chelsea, Tony Mount, Charles Lund, Chitla La Cole Patch, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Dino, Dan, FC, Drexel, Dr. Moo, Cows, Gamma Dev, Glenn, Main, Gary, Defender, Ground Troop, Orgy Rapper, Homebrew, Homeboy, Ivory Tower Collection, Jedekai, Johnny W. Sukabeto, Genzo, Carl G. Ken Jennings, Vader, Gravelter, Lambda Express, Lonely DZ, Mark Yo, Hannes, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Michael Town, MK Smith, Mother 3, Mr. Zarn, Mr. Fix, Mighty Funster, Nathan Strum, Neo Meaning, Nostalgic, Pack Rat, Dave, Prow 7, Koag, R. Anchowitz, R. 70, Rounded Ghost, Relentless Feed, Ricardo Pim, Rod Castler, Six Sweet, Sledgehammer, Smitty B, Spice Rest, Spinley, Sesmir is Test and Rocking, T Flock, D Train, Deaky Dan K, T Foes, Token Muncher, Vexor X, Vintage Gaming Memories, Vitoko, VGW Down, X Ken X. It's a lot of names. Yay! There's a lot of support Thank for the you. show. Thank, Thank you, you so much. If you want to support the show and add your list to the names of poorly read out <laughs> names, just subscribe <laughs> on Twitch. It's free with Amazon Prime. It's somewhere. I don't know where it is. Um, or you could just follow us on Twitch so you'll know when we broadcast. We have a poll topic. Of course, I had to make it about light guns. So let's start that poll. Do you have an Atari light gun? Uh, one for yes. Two, no, but I want one. Three, no, I don't want one. <laughs> I refuse to get a light gun. <laughs> and I do have one, so I'm going to put yes, I do have one. There we go. Um, a lot of people I think are not going to have one mm -hmm. because one, they only came out with the Atari XEGS system. You know, that uh, consoleized computer Atari. Okay. Um, and that's the only system it came out for. Mm. There aren't that many games for it that were released in retail. I don't know how many XEGS systems sold as well. Um, so, see, a lot of twos. Not yeah. many people uh, mm -hmm. have well, them, but probably want them. not a lot floating around out there, too. So. And they're not cheap yeah. either. Again, because there's not a lot floating around. Because there's not there. a lot of throw floating <laughs> yeah. around. So, I, I waited a while and tried to find one for a decent price, and I finally got mm -hmm. one for a decent price, specifically for this episode, <laughs> for this show, mm -hmm. to do a light gun episode, because I was very excited to do this. Um, so, I bought one a while ago. Um, it is an Atari XEGS, so it has the matching color the gray of the color. console eyes. Very nice, yeah. Um, it came without, it came missing a decal on one side. The other side, the glue came off of it. Okay. I still have the decal, so it's decalless right yeah. now. <laughs> um, so it's not even in perfect condition, and I paid a bunch for it, and it took a while to find one this cheap, so yeah, I can see why not a lot of people have them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'll go into alternatives later that might be cheaper, easier, options. but some options, but you can't just plug it in. That's an issue. Okay. Um, but let's get to the news first. Uh, there it is. So the first piece of news is the Harmony Cart is now working on the RT Stella console. Uh, that's the consoleized Atari 2600 that the community is working on. Mm. Um, and uh, so they've 
made some more progress on compatibility. So the plus cart works and the harmony cart now works. I don't know if that's Harmony Encore, it just says Harmony. And um, they got Miss Pac-Man working off the Harmony cart. So I'm guessing anything that has been working on the plus cart now works on the Harmony cart. So you can see it right there, the Harmony cart working. So that's excellent progress. Um, and here is the compatibility chart. This has not been updated with the Harmony card yet, um, but you can see the OKs in the plus cart column. Um, that is, there's some untested ones, but a lot of OKs now. Um, a lot of the new stuff on the homebrew is not supported on the plus cart because it has nothing to do with the console. It has to do with the plus card. It just is not compatible with it those things. With the plus it just card. doesn't work with the plus card. Okay. But that those do work with the harmony card, but that hasn't been fully filled out yet with harmony. And I'm expecting anything that works on the plus card works on the Uno card because they share the same code base. Um, and anything that works on the plus card should work on the actual cartridge itself as well. Um, so that is excellent, excellent news. Um, and also the other piece of news that I don't seem to have up, but I will open it up right now. Uh, oh, it flashed away. There we go. Penalt is, was announced to be released at PRGE. Uh, this is for people who don't know a port, not a port, but an homage to the Ultima series mm. on the 8-bit systems. And this is for the Atari 2600 made by Carl G. And take a look at that unbelievable color, uh, cover. Yeah, the box, box is art, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, made by, uh, Bitjag, uh, whose name is William Thorpe. And, um, unlike some of the Ultimas where you can get a party, uh, together, you get a uh, companion dragon mm -hmm. to fight with you. Yes. That's, that's awesome. always there, which is cool. So that's reflected on the cover, which Very is nice. super awesome, sitting on your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> Ultima themed, but an original game world. That's yes. a good explanation. Yeah. Carl's uh, the developer is in the chat. Yeah. Um, so very looking forward to that one, Carl. The, the artwork is stunning. Absolutely beautiful. And there's some uh, screenshots of the game. There's In Town. There's like a uh, overworld near some lava, I yeah. think. And there's a fight going on there. Um, I think that one's gonna do really, really well. Mm -hmm. It's it's such an incredible achievement for the Atari 2600, a full-fledged full RPG yeah. with a full, full world and towns that you can go into and dungeons that you can go into, yeah. 128K game. Um, it's it's absolutely unbelievable. We played it a bunch on the show, mm -hmm. and we were beta testers yes, for it cool. as well. We did many many hours of beta testing. Uh, super fun game. Um, let's see. Okay, so uh, warning: today's show there will be tons of flashing. <laughs> so if you are sensitive to flashing, uh, definitely don't watch yeah, the show. Avert your eyes. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because that's how light guns work. Uh, they flash the screen a lot. So mm -hmm. just uh, see my warning there. Yes. I put it like six times so I didn't yep. miss it. Warning, lots of flashing. Yep. Carl G, I got private streams of their beta testing. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, so we posted private hours long streams that we sent to Carl. So he got to see us for hours yep. special broadcast that <laughs> no one else yet Carl G's special broadcast yes <laughs> so I, I i see lots of uh after dark broadcasts of the ongoing penalt uh streaming in the future yes yeah yes. it's such Once a it's fun game fully released yeah 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 not safe for work contains flashing yeah oh. you could watch it at work oh, I yeah, guess. yeah. <laughs> Um, so let's, uh, talk a little bit about the history of light guns briefly. Okay. Um, so a lot of this, I, uh, learned for the first time. The first light guns were produced in the 1930s. Really? Wow. Following the development of light sensing vacuum tubes. Mm. Cause that's all they are is a light sensor. Yeah. Right. They just, that there's nothing special. Is there light? Is there not light? That's it. Mm. Um, in various different forms. Um, because some of the, say you went to a, a fair and you had those guns and they're shooting at targets and stuff. And if there was a light gun, the light sensor would be on the thing you're shooting at right. and a light would come out from the gun. 
-hmm. Most home consoles work the opposite way because mm -hmm. the CRT is emit light mm -hmm. and the guns have the sensor. Um, and in 1936, the technology was introduced in arcade shooting games, beginning with the Seaberg Rayolite. So that was the very first light gun game. Wow. It was in 1936. 36. So almost 100 years of light almost, gun yeah. games. How would they have 90 years. registered mm -hmm. the score on that? Was it, would it just be a point and then like mechanical, mechanical score? Yeah, it would that's be like... Really, that's really interesting. I sense, I sense a piece of light yeah. and... I guess it'd be an elect electric signal that it would send it and go click. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like old pinball games. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Where it was like mechanical scoring. That's cool. Yeah. Um, then uh, one way of sensing in video games is sequential targeting. And um, you see this, You saw, most people saw this for the first time on the NES with mm -hmm. Duck Hunt. Mm -hmm. And... The detection method is the screen blacks out. You know on Duck Hunt, you mm -hmm. pull the trigger, screen goes away very quickly. It goes to black first, and then there's a white square on the screen mm -hmm. where one of the ducks is. Mm -hmm. Then if there's multiple ducks, it goes to the next frame, and there's this, a white square hitbox mm -hmm. around the second duck. And if there's three, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. right. um, so the timing is you pull the trigger... The game system goes, goes flash, flash. I've, you've pulled the trigger, yeah. it goes to black, then it reads if you're, if the gun senses light being seen by the gun, because it's like a camera, mm -hmm. and it goes, do I see light? Mm. Yes? Okay, I hit the first duck. Do I see light when it goes to the second frame? Yes, I hit the second duck. Obviously, only only be able to hit one duck at a time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but... People quickly found out they could cheat <laughs> oh, because yeah. they just sure. go pointed okay. at a light, <laughs> yeah. pull the trigger. I got the duck. Mm -hmm. Click, 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 and you just win. But then they um, got wise to that pretty quickly. And in the black <laughs> in the black frames, it would go, "Do I see light? Yes. Nope. You didn't hit the duck. Mm. Right. Um, I don't know if it was on Duck Hunt that, that they sense. did that. But or something earlier. But later on? games mm -hmm. okay. or other games, they, they implemented an anti-cheat. An anti-cheat. Right. Yes. Yeah. That makes sense. Vacuum tubes and relays. Click, right. click, click. Yeah. Right. There we go. <laughs> um, rectangular positioning. Uh, that's another method of sensing the light. I'll just read this out. Rectangular positioning is similar to image capture, except it disregards any on-screen details and only determines the rectangular outline of the game screen. Uh, by determining the size and distortion of the rectangle outline of the screen, it is possible to calculate where exactly the light gun is pointing. Mm -hmm. Now that sounds crazy, mm -hmm. but uh, let me show you because the Retro Tink has this built in. Oh, really? Yes. And uh, just researching, I finally figured out what that was. I saw it in the menu. I'm like, what? what is that? That's so weird. Um, so let's go to that. Um, you guys won't see it. Actually, I can switch it over so you can see what they're seeing. So if you go to the menu, and I think it's an HDMI. No, on-screen display. Yes. Uh, let's just make that bigger. So if you go to the on-screen display menu and you go to light gun border mm -hmm. and you turn that on, it puts a square around the border. Mm -hmm. And for the, th the games and the gun that uses that, it calculates where on the screen your light gun is pointed by imaging the whole screen and okay. knowing... Um, in in uh, relation to that square on the screen where your light gun is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you point it to the left, the image of the border is going to be different than if you point it to the right. right. Mm -hmm. So rather than just sensing a very, very specific point of light, it it's basically a camera mm -hmm. pointing at your screen. And I thought, that's, that's brilliant. That's not how this works mm -hmm. that right. we're going to be playing today. The way this works, it is looking for, do I see light or don't I see light? That's it. Very simple sensor. Yeah. Very simple. But I thought that was that's really, really cool to modernize it. Yeah. Because modern TVs can't sense the way we're going to do it today. 
Mm. And I'll, uh, I'll go into that in a, a little bit as well. Because we had to do a very special setup today to be able to do this. Because normally we play games with an LCD screen. Um, or LED screen. Mm -hmm. And um, we can't aim a gun at that because of timing issues. Mm -hmm. um, also, yeah, the lag is too long mm -hmm. on TVs like this. You can put it into game mode, but that's still not good enough. Mm -hmm. It's not fast enough. CRTs are instant like they can sense and do it they just spit out code onto the screen spit out the information mm. so it's right. absolutely instant it's mm. updating you know 60 frames a second yep. you know and these are updating 60 frames a second but it's not quite up to date mm -hmm. um and also the way the screen is drawn on a crt is very different than modern displays a crt draws the screen from top left to bottom right going from left to right top to bottom so it goes line by line and some light guns um sense based on the timing of the drawing of the light on the screen so it's that specific yes yeah. uh, that's usually with light pens and not like guns okay um but some light guns as well i don't know specifically but if you're pointing it at the screen you press the button and it can tell where on the screen it is drawing at that time. And when it gets to where you're pointed with the gun, it'll go, that's where I am on okay. the screen. Yeah. Okay. Neat. <laughs> um, it's, it's interesting how all this works. Um, so the light gun versus the light pen, they're very, very, very similar. And you can actually play light gun games with a light pen, depending on how the light pen is set up. Mm -hmm. Some light pens have a button that you press and some light pens you have to press onto the screen and the button is kind of like on at the, the tip. end of it. Yeah. yeah. You can't play light gun games with the push in one. Yeah. But you can play it with the press. But I think they're focused differently. Okay. So you have to go like right up to the screen and go really, really close mm. because there is a um, focusing lens mm. at the end of the light gun so that it's really, really precise and it gathers just the light you want. Mm -hmm. and, then, and you can actually fix light guns by. Uh, manipulating that lens at the end of the gun by making it, say, smaller or more focused. So so when you say fix, you mean cheat? Uh, yeah, you can cheat. Or <laughs> some, some are a little inaccurate or it's come out of place or, you know, something So you can, like you can make it just, a, like, like Wide. wider and then you just always, you, you'd always Possibly. Win. Or yeah. it could wreck it, too, at the okay. same time if it's too wide. Nice. Mm. So the first, the first <laughs> light pen... Uh, at, at the time was still called a light gun and mm -hmm. it was because that, that came first uh, was created in 1951 <laughs> as part of the Whirlwind 1 project at MIT mm -hmm. um, a light pen detects changes in brightness of nearby pixels uh, when scanned by a cathode ray tube electron beam and communicates the timing of the event to the computer so that's how the light pen works is more like how I described yeah. where it's timing on the screen when it draws it. Mm -hmm. And I saw some videos on it, and if you put it on a spot where it thinks... Like, if you move it to the wrong spot and that part's too bright, then it kind of jumps and it gets confused. Mm -hmm. So you have to, like, not move it too fast. Because be a lot of them slow. have crosshairs okay. and a dot in the middle. And if you move it to the crosshair, it thinks that's the dot in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, A light pen would be like a light sword almost. You stab the screen. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a bit too easy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if the light, if the game shows a full white screen, it's usually using the timing of the screen being drawn. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. That makes sense. That would make sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, the first home console to have a light gun um, for video games. Uh, 1972. Wow. Uh, That's early. Yeah. At Magnavox Odyssey. Okay. Uh, shooting Gallery. And that ah. was not a, it was not a console. It was like a, I think it was just a, a standalone. A specific standalone game. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, and then other light guns of note. Um, the Zapper for the Famicom, 1984. Yeah. Uh, the NES Zapper for the NES, of 1985. Course. Who didn't have that? Yeah. Duck uh, Hunt. Yeah. yeah. The Light Phaser. Phaser. Yes. Wow. For the Sega Master System. Very nice. Phaser, they were really... Um, 
go in for the Star Trek theme. Eh? That's right. Phew. Set Very to stun. Nice. <laughs> uh, the Magna, Magnum Light Phaser for the ZX Spectrum in okay. 1987. Yeah. And finally, last but not least, um, <laughs> yeah, the XG1 for the Atari. Came okay. out with the XEGS in 1987. And then it went to 16-bit. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the last kind of 8-bit. So the Atari XE Light Gun released in 1987, packed in with the XEGS system, which was also bundled with the Light Gun game Bug Hunt, which we will play briefly. Okay. Um, there were a total of one Light Gun game for the 2600. One. Because considering the Light Gun didn't come out till 1987, oh, which was post video game crash yeah. by th three, four years. Wow. So it's amazing it even got one because it didn't even you couldn't buy a 2600 light gun it came with a totally different system so you had to have a 2600 and an xegs mm. gotcha to get a game <laughs> and then you had to buy the 2600 game yeah it was a lot of investment yeah um <laughs> someone somewhere invested in that though. yeah yeah mm. yeah um and four games for the 7800 but same situation a gun didn't come out for the 7800 um, and seven for the XEGS, okay. and it was compatible with the 8-bit computer line as well, same cartridges. Um, and uh, there was also an unreleased 2600 game. Um, it never came out, but we will take a brief look at it. Um, so the Sega Light Phaser works on the exact same principle as the XE uh, light gun. To be honest, it kind of looks like, like the the shape of it and everything looks almost identical to it. Uh, yeah, it's very, it's very similar. Very similar. Yeah, like same dimensions. The mold is is different. Is, is obviously yeah. Yeah, it is yeah. quite different. The mold. It's, it's got that lovely uh, the beige XCGS one has that lovely beige plastic <laughs> that's right. computer plastic. That's I love right. it. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's you, professional looking. Yeah, this is <laughs> the professional this is more like professional. Okay. <laughs> um, you can use this. On oh, it does work. the Atari system. Okay. But you have to make, you have to either change the internals of it or you can make an adapter. Mm -hmm. so oh, don't, I see. Don't change the internals. Don't change the internals. Yeah, um, with uh, one transistor and one resistor mm. Mm. because you need to invert the trigger pin mm. on this. It's high on one and low on the other, mm. so you have to switch it around. And I did buy um, the equipment to do it. I just didn't, I got it yesterday, so I didn't have time. Uh, otherwise, we would be able to. We'd be playing two-player light gun games today. Oh, I see. I see. Um, I wonder if you could just hold the trigger and then let it go when you want to fire. Uh, there's. Uh, I don't know. Maybe about not. That. <laughs> yeah, we can try it. Uh, right. There's also a resistor <laughs> there as well, so it's <laughs> yeah. not just an inverter. Right. Yeah. So it might I, be a level thing too. I, yeah, yeah, I don't want to plug it in. No. Um, <laughs> Fair enough. So eventually, we will have two two light guns. So we'll be playing ducks ducks away with two light guns mm -hmm. uh, eventually. And I believe Al is going to have two light guns at PRG or more. Oh, he nice. might have up to four because it does support four light guns. Really? Yes. Wow. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's, um, that's going to be amazing. So I hope he has four. If it's you had awesome. known, you could have gotten a third one. We could have had three light gun users. I know. I know. But we <laughs> oh. didn't know Dave was joining us today. So. Uh, well, we have a four player, four player uh, game day coming we up. We do. We could. We could. So give it a whirl. I will be on the lookout for more of these. Yes, mm. fair enough. At uh, PRGE. I'll add, add, have to add it because I've got. Uh, many, many um, resistors and uh, transistors. So <laughs> they come in packs of like 20. Yeah, mm. fair um, enough, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. So uh, we had to completely change the setup for this, for today. Yes, we have a Commodore 64, uh, what do you call them? Specifically, the 17, 1702 CRT. CRT. The beautiful, beautiful CRT. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderfully mounted on a plastic box. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't think you can see that. In the... No, it's hiding. It's hiding. But it's yeah, it's, There's no plastic it's box. Elevated. There's mm -hmm. no plastic, yeah. And One I set up things. all three systems as well. Nice. Yeah, um, they're all in there in the background. As is traditional. As is traditional, <laughs> yeah, on the uh, floor. Because... <laughs> We can't, like I explained, use it, use it with the modern television. You have to have a CRT. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're also going to be broadcasting it out. Yes. Um, so what I've done is split the signal. Um, one going to the TV, mm -hmm. um, and it's all, all going to be composite going to the TV. This does have S-video mm -hmm. before S-video was invented. Right. Um, but 
it's too complicated to put in the back because it's not quite as video. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so I've got a composite. It doesn't matter what we see. You guys don't see this. Um, but the splitter, some of it has um, S video and we see composite and some of it has composite, but it goes to the retro tank to upscale it so we can see it on the TV and then it gets um, broadcast, broadcast out to everybody out there. So you'll see what we're seeing just split from... Yeah. Split from what we're seeing. That's mm -hmm. fair enough. And um, I have to do a lot of cable swapping <laughs> in between. So we're going to do 7800 first. Okay. Then 2600 and then 8-bit. 8-bit. Yeah. Okay. And I've labeled them all haphazardly. So it should all work. And you guys can it hear should. sound. It and should we all can hear work. Sound and we can see. <laughs> it's all been tested many, many times. Yeah. So it, it. this was my week. <laughs> it yeah. was a lot of work. Yeah. Um, but first, I tried... To just use it as normal because usually I run it into the retro tank mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then I tried to split it off the retro tank HDMI out downscaling it to composite and I was and it was kind of working but the light gun was it was all over the place and it wasn't sensing and I was like oh my god my light gun's broken mm -hmm. then I went for lunch and went oh the delay yeah, yeah. no this is not gonna work tore it all down plug it directly into the monitor worked perfectly so I was like, oh my God, good. The light gun works. That's the expensive breaking thing. Um, <laughs> um, and then I did all the splitting. And um, let's see. Then um, I was having trouble in the menu systems of each of the systems. Because when I had the light gun plugged in, mm -hmm. usually it's into port one on all the systems. Mm -hmm. It was just going up to the top of the menu. So apparently the trigger is a held down up direction if mm. you have the gun plugged into a port so it uses the same line on the nine pin as the up as the up as a joystick pressing up and when you press down the button it stops, it stops going up mm. but that's important that's a big mess for trying to go through the menus and stuff so okay we're just going to kind of unplug it each time mm. okay and then load the game and plug it in okay yeah cool. fair enough you guys don't need to know that, but that's what I had to go through. <laughs> yeah. The 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 growing pains of figuring out how to make it work, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But it's all working. It was a lot of troubleshooting. So on to our first game, yeah, okay. which is Ducks Away, <laughs> uh, and this is an exclusive <laughs> update. So we get to play it first. All right. Um, thanks to uh, Smitty B, Blake Smith. Thank you, and, Blake. Uh, actually, I told him. Uh, it was working, but I'd only tested it directly into the port. Um, port 1 with a light gun, port 2 with a joystick. Mm -hmm. And it is a four-player light gun game or four-player joystick game. So you can mix and match using the uh, Quadtari. I was going to say. There we go. Yeah. So that is able to split it up into four controllers. Wow. Um, and then I plugged into the, the light gun into the Quadtari. Yeah and it was not having it oh it was like shooting constantly like <laughs> auto fire oh, okay which you could just aim it at, at the docks yeah, and, yeah. yeah. but it wasn't and wasn't behaving properly so i i just figured that out like three hours ago okay <laughs> and i went smitty mm. uh there's a problem mm. not a huge problem because we could just two play two players and it was just gonna be tanya and i so i was like oh that's fine yeah um but dave's here and i was like oh i want to play three players we have three people it's mm. perfect and i said uh smitty there's a problem uh i don't know if it's easy to fix can you take a look at it here's the issue he's like uh, let me take a look at it yeah. and amazingly through multiple iterations of me playing it testing it out he got it working oh wow in the past couple hours wow. before the show good so. job yep. thank you so yeah. much smitty it was, <laughs> got it uh, got it working in the end um, so this is a 128K game. It's on the Atari 7800. Um, it has not been released to the public. It is going to be a PRG for demos. Like I said, he's, uh, Al's going to have a bunch of light guns. You definitely want to uh, check this out when you're at PRG. It's super fun. Um, Smitty also made Plum Luck, uh, Spire of the Ancients, and Vox a lot. And... Um, mm -hmm. So, um, he has posted a couple builds in Discord, if you want to go there. But it's not been officially posted anywhere. Uh, last time we played this was August 15th, so not, not too long ago. Um, so, let's check out 
um, the game. And he's written a bunch of uh, information up for me to okay. read about his development of the game as okay. well. Okay, excellent. So first we'll plug in the um, uh, Quad Tari. Mm -hmm. This is the um, Let's switch over. chord organization part of the show. <laughs> uh, I think... Oh, no, we're not on 7800. So, yeah. I have to switch that around. <laughs> 7800. Repatch. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Patch it in. Oh, oh very working. nice. Very nice. And that's working, so it was only one cable. Nice. It wasn't as bad as I thought. I think you're in the best position, by the way. I you're think so. right in front of the TV. <laughs> you said that I think the, the highest score is going to be in this from from Dave. And I, I have a pretty good long arms. You so. do have long arms. My arms are much shorter, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting cat eyes from Atari right now. Oh. He is like, where are the treats? Are we actually doing treat time today? We'll do it after this this game. No, I'm just saying, like, we have space. Like, we'll I, we can side. actually move the the camera. So. Oh yes, that's you have an experienced treat time. Did, I, did I James know. prepare you for no. what that's all about? No, no. Okay. So, you're the guest. So yes. You get to use the gun. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you. Yeah. Very nice. And uh, then we will plug in <laughs> a joystick for you because we don't you. have a second gun. Oh, okay. It's up. What am I doing? What? It's nothing. You haven't told me the controls yet, so. Uh, aim and shoot. Aim and shoot. Okay. There are there crosshairs. Simple. There are crosshairs okay, for you. Okay, good. Good to know. Dave does not get crosshairs. No. He just has a gun. It's me to be. Fingers <laughs> crossed it works. <laughs> yeah. It worked before, so... Uh... <laughs> also, Smitty B says, Lousy game can be blamed on the game. I'll allow it. VVG. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no jinxing. Okay, so don't touch anything. Yeah. <laughs> can do. Because, um, okay, so let me explain how you select. You can play as a gun, mm -hmm. or you can play as a dog. You can't play as a dog because you have the gun. Right. But you can play as a dog on the bottom of the screen, jumping up to get ducks. Oh, oh I like that. Okay. But I think you should play as a crosshairs for first. the first the first time. Okay. Yep. So to start, don't touch anything. I'm not touching anything. Um, <laughs> one of you is going to be. I think you're player one and you're player two. two. I yes. think. No, it says well if the two. quadtari is. If the correct. quadtari is the right label. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to pick. You, what you're going to be, Okay. you press left and right, Okay. but don't do it yet because it starts counting down from five. And all you do is press the trigger mm -hmm. and it should say pop gun on the screen. Okay. So you both want to get it to pop gun. Pop gun? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Now don't That's it. it? Just leave it. Okay. Pop that gun. makes sense. Yes, it does. Yeah. <laughs> okay. First wave. Let's get the volumes. Oh, I don't have the volumes. The right oh, that's audio plug-in. What am I? Am I the blue? You're the crosshairs. I, I'm having trouble going right. Oh, I'll fix that. I'm going left, but not right. I'll fix that. There we go. Now we have volume. Pretty cool. Dave is doing a much better job. Oh! I think... Uh, oh, I like... Oh! Dragons! <laughs> horses. Are they dragons? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Adventure dragons. Well, there's kind of a... A funny try right now. Okay. Oh yeah, it's working now. There we go. Um, in Homestar Runner, um, they called them ducks. Oh, they are get, true. Get, get these are. freaking ducks away from me, he says. Ah, uh, uh, gotcha. Because uh, they kind of look like ducks, they and do. that was kind of like the the funny thing about it. Pretty cool though. I like oh, this. okay. It's funny. Let's see the actual yeah. screen. Okay, we're gonna start over because they didn't see anything. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I was doing so well. <laughs> too many, too many things. Okay, here we go. Blame the screen. Yeah. <laughs> now let's see the screen. Now okay. that you know how to play it. Okay. <laughs> That's right. It was a practice, practice right? Practice, practice. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have a 13-inch screen down here and That's a 46-inch. So funny. Inch. So they're trying to steal your vegetables. They look like turnips. Uh, now they're carrots. Oh, they're different. I see. I think they're originally all carrots. Now they're radishes, turnips. So who is who? The blue is Tanya. And the red is Dave. People. Oh, now they're... I don't know what those were. In the ground? Oh, volume's very loud. Sorry, everyone. Call so it flowers, many things maybe. Keep track of right now. Oh, You're doing really well with the uh, joystick. Yeah, it's, it's a good score. Bad. Um, yeah, you can move reasonably quickly with the with the crosshairs. Yeah. It's not bad at all. 
I'm, I'm enjoying this. What are those green things? Do you seriously shoot them? Mushrooms? I want to know what all the food is. <laughs> yeah, he's having a lot of... Like a lot it. of veggies. A lot of garden. You have to protect your garden. Okay, right. that makes sense. That from makes the sense. from the ducks who are apparently attacking in flocks. Adventure ducks, yes. Are they only in the second wave, or did they come back? No, nope. they're back. More adventure ducks. They already have oh holes. My gosh, in. there's so many of them. Yeah, they do have holes. That's so you can't shoot. Them. That's, their, <laughs> that's their defense. Oh, they stole two. No, no, oh. no, no, go away. You guys are not guarding against ah. the, the ducks. Adventure ducks. I'm not doing a very good job of getting them. There's a cat yeah. coughing in the other room. Yeah, he's having trouble. Oh no. Fall mold. The well, I did. Fall molds coming up. I did vacuum today, so oh, it probably poor guy. kicked up the dust. Oh, poor kitty. Yeah. His, his asthma's getting bad. Again. Mm. Are the adventure ducks easier to hit? No, or... I almost feel like they're harder yeah, I, to hit. I just think so too. Do they move faster? Maybe. Maybe. It's that hole. It's the hole. Kev says, that's hectic. Every fifth rate wave along with the rice. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely getting more than me, <laughs> score wise. 64, 65. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Doubling. This is okay. It's his long arm span. <laughs> I, I, I think the. I feel like the smaller screen maybe oh, is making it harder. Oh, did I die? Where did I go? Oh, there I am. I, I was at the bottom. Lost yourself. I, I did lose myself. Sorry. That you okay? You okay, buddy? Oh, no, no, oh. no. Take him. Oh, no, no. 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 Two gone. Did they replenish every round? Or do you wow. get one back each round? Okay. Nope. They replenish every round. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to read out um, the development notes. From Blake Smith, Smitty B. I'm in the habit of keeping notes of game ideas, even if it's something as small as an interesting title, with the intention of expanding on those ideas over time and picking th things up, uh, things from those notes when the opportunity arises. The 7800 and specifically existence of 7800 Basic has allowed me to finally turn those ideas into something playable. Would a bigger CRT make it easier? Oh, uh, Maybe. Oh, yeah, because yeah. the target would be bigger. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. these CRTs are pretty small. <laughs> so I feel like that might be like, a good handicap at this distance. Yeah. <laughs> but keep in mind, Dave is a, a, a foot and a half away from the TV. It yeah. is pretty, it's pretty close. It might be two feet. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> More, no, yeah, either. could be. I think this would be really hard out of, for the distance. Uh, yeah, but I think you're a fairly appropriate distance for I the size so. of the screen. Agreed, yeah. Yeah. Uh, even though a duck hunt clone, oh, no. I gave I... him, a, I gave him his emergency already today. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you got oh. it just in time. Just in time. Should I give him another one? No, eh? No. Oh, oh, poor guy. Having a hard time, eh? It's okay. Sorry, he's distracting me a little bit. <laughs> even though a duck hunt clone might seem like an obvious first idea for a light gun game, given the NES version is arguably the, the most iconic and duck hunting has been a theme since the beginning of light guns in their earliest form, it started as just a name and spun off from an animal western themed Operation Wolf style. I was spitballing animal puns and landed on Ducks Away as a twist on Chalks Away <laughs> that put in mind uh, an image of a duck with an aviator hat and goggles. I do not know the phrase Chalks Away. Uh, that didn't fit with the Western theme, but I kept an idea for later. In the end, I was inspired more by Donkey Kong 3. Ah, that makes sense. Um, and have, having to stop the insects from flying off their flowers. That it was a light gun game actually came from a Western idea, not that it had ducks as the antagonist. Speaking of antagonists, I deliberately avoided the idea of killing ducks for sport, so I framed it as the ducks coming into your garden, steal from your vegetable patch, and you fend them off as children armed with pop guns, shooting corks, so the ducks are shocked and fly away rather than be killed. Mm, that's, that's nice. That that's is nice. nicer. I do like you're that. You're just scaring though. them away. Yeah, you're just... We have salt... Um, our... Uh, uh, your sister has salt guns. Yes. That they shoot... What do, what do they shoot? Bugs uh, with? Bugs, yeah. 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 Which uh, is sort of the same thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, back in 2004, I saw an interview with Dennis Whoa, Harper, it? the programmer of Tubin, how they tried to deliberately make something non-violent in response to the rise of gory <laughs> fighting games. And it stuck with me since, so I've tried to channel that mentality into my projects. But you guys should switch. Yeah. Can I switch? After this. Sure. Round. We're doing really well, though. <laughs> yeah, you're protecting the garden. It's a... Uh, good test for two players to 
see how uh, easy the game is. Yeah. Phaser Cat Games, I'm very keen to play this at PRGE. I love the adventure slain sound in this wave. Ah, okay, switch. Switch? Okay. <laughs> which, which, is, which is fire? Uh, first. Or either. I don't know. I think it's the first one. Yeah. Gotta recalibrate here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both of you have to. Ah, uh, Jack got away! Uh, I don't know. Two of them. I'm not sure I'm getting anything. Okay, I'm getting closer <laughs> to the screen now. There we go. Much better. Oh! Don't knock oh, it over! Just going to angle towards you. Thank you. That is uh, helpful. I tried to channel that mentality in my projects. The addition of the dog did come from Duck Hunt, though, and I was adamant it would actually be helpful. So I had the idea that it would chase off ducks for you at the bottom of the screen. As a fun bonus, I made it so the second person could play as the dog in the same way you could play as Tails in Sonic 2, even though the game isn't really supposed to be played that way. In the end, I spent so much time playing as a dog, instead I reworked the code that I decided to make playing as them in an optional mode. So I'm going to switch it after this round, so you guys play the dog. Yeah, that'd be cool to try You'll too. play the dog, and uh, Tanya will stay on the gun. I, I might switch from the gun. Oh, okay. Well, Tanya can play the dog. Just the flashing is a little How much? hard on my eyes. Yeah. You can switch back if you want. Yeah, I'll try that. Okay. Poor kitties. Okay, so let's. Uh... Very cool. <clears throat> very cool. Yeah, very, yeah. very nice game. Oh, I got stuck on a note. There's a, some dad to your to-do list, Smitty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, so you press to the dog. Ah, Smitty says the XG1 is unforgiving with the angle. Uh, it needs to be held oh, at compared oh, no. to other light guns. Gotcha. button there yep. you go there we go i don't know why i didn't register the press something else to look into okay continuing on <laughs> oh, oh, oh too quick you can't even yeah, i'll let you have one there. no no it's okay it uh increases as time goes on yeah um, I didn't Cute. set out specifically mm -hmm. to make the first 7800 light gun homebrew. Now keep in mind, everyone, this is the very first light gun homebrew for the 7800. Great one at that. But it was, f but it was a factor in me starting sooner rather than later. As far as I know, Spire of the Ancient was around. Spire of the Ancients around was the first 7800 game with keypad support added around 2017. For having another first under my belt, it would be nice. It's a nice bragging rights if the conversation is lacking. I don't remember specifically where I read it, but I saw something about how the XEGS can be read with the up direction and fire button on the 2600 7800, so I just started experimenting. I already had the gun from the 7800's previous owner. I this yeah, good idea. Yeah. Um, uh, I had the lo Dragonfly cartridge, and I had a big CRT. It just made sense. <laughs> chocks are the blocks placed next to wheel to use to stop things rolling away. Ah, chocks away is related to World War II pilots getting their planes ready to fly. Oh, ah, chocks away. There are two main ways of handling the light gun. Flashing individual targets or flashing the whole screen white and then timing when the gun sees the screen being drawn. The latter is a nicer option, while I was able to accurately get the Y position to run, I couldn't get the X position consistently. So I moved to the easier target selection method. Okay. So this is actually flashing the entire screen. X times mm -hmm. for each duck on the screen. So he was trying to do it all the whole screen in one go, mm -hmm. but it was too hard. To reduce the number of frames, I needed to draw multiple targets each frame, but in a bitwise pattern that results in a unique pattern per duck and scales with the number of ducks on the screen. Including the anti-cheat black screen, it takes two frames for one duck, three frames for up to three ducks, four frames for up to seven ducks, etc. I didn't think I could do the western shooter idea justice, so I scaled back and instead of started working on Video Sharp Shooter, a collection of mini games based on the latter Pong consoles that include gun games like how Video Olympics was a collection of Pong variations. I made a test program for getting the gun working on the hardware with that in mind, but I realized I'd scale back my plans too much for a 7800 game and dug out Ducks Away idea to take its place. I'm not sure when the idea included including Quadtari support was suggested, or by who, but it seemed like the logical thing to do. I felt obliged to make a four-player light gun game for the 7800, 
because it's such a stupid and impractical idea <laughs> when few people have the XEDS guns. I don't think anybody on the planet has four of them knocking about. It might uh, have to come with a seizure warning with the screen flashing so much. <laughs> the biggest problem with making a Quatari compatible game is that I don't have a Quatari. So I had sort of had to guess how it worked based on what little uh, and conflicting information I could find. And testing done on behalf by Bruce Robert Pocock and James. Then Carl G posted a demo a couple days after and I cried a little inside. Thanks, Carl. Uh, and as I'm writing this, I don't know if the Quadtari support works properly or not, so good luck, future me. It does work! It does, yeah. I don't know about four guns, it's though. Pretty slick. It hasn't been tested with four guns. Yep. We'll be able to test with flashing. two guns soon. It's okay. <laughs> it is a little flashy. Yep. Uh, I, I can imagine <laughs> with more guns. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little... Well, I'll give yeah. you a break in a second. We, you can do the next round with just the dog if you want. Would it flash with the dog? No, it no, would it. No. no. Uh, we just can me. do a round, maybe. I am getting a little... I've got about 10 light guns for different systems now, but I'm tempted to buy another three XCGS go. guns if I can find them. And maybe a couple of light pens, too. I believe light pens are identical to the light guns, and a four-player light pen game is on such a different plane of absurdity that ah, ah, I must try it. Okay, maybe I'll help get, you. Get, get some of them. <laughs> four-player light gun. Light pen game would be crazy. Now, I have a CRT projector at home. I wonder if that would work. Here's a question. That'd be cool. A CRT projector? It, yeah. It should. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it I would. Mean, as it long would. as it's fast enough. Ooh, yeah. That would be fun. I, mean, I don't see a reason why. I used to have a CRT projector, blue projector. That'd be screen. cool. But I think you need that with, with four like I don't with four core players. Fifty inch CRT. Don't blue, drink and duck. Projector. Yeah, agreed. agreed. It was it was so sick. Good evening. Evening nostalgic. Hey nostalgic. Okay, we're gonna play three player now. Excellent. I, I, I do have to say it is screwing with my brain a little bit. Well, it's, a little, it's, a little <laughs> it's a little flashy. It's a little flashy. I just can't imagine it with all four light guns causing it to flicker. <laughs> oh, that might be a bit much. Yeah. So. Actually, it would flicker a lot. Strobe zone. Yeah. Strobe zone. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. You want to try the gun? Um, yeah, sure. If you want to play. Oh, so maybe oh. rear projection generally doesn't Pick. work because the screen is too dim. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm. I have to start it over. I accidentally clicked. Oh. The, light, the gun. Okay, so you guys pick what you want. I pick want a dog. quick. Left, right, left, right, left, right. There you go. Excellent. I love that dog. It's adorable, <laughs> by the way, Smitty B. So cute. Look at that little tail wagging as he, as he jumps up in the air. Such a cute little, like, addition to the animation. It's, it's, you just want to pet that dog. <laughs> Pet that dog. Pet that dog. He's not an angry dog. He's just a happy dog, and he's just like, get away! These are my vegetables. Just wants, wants to protect my, his uh, vegetables. My vegetables, get away! <laughs> now, if that was a cat, oh, this would be a bloodbath. <laughs> it would be. They wouldn't be scared away. They'd be on the ground. Yeah, it would. Uh, it would. It, it, it would involve some. Um, You'd have to turn the gore setting off. I That's think, right. The cats. I feel like I don't have any ammunition. What's going on here? Oh. <laughs> are you? Do you have a? Red oh, is it ball? flashing? I don't know if I, I don't know if it's. Which one are you? I'm green. Green. Oh yeah, you've got one so far. Okay. So that. Can you move? Oh, yeah. there it is. Yeah, that's me. Okay. Was it disappearing? It does disappear between rounds, it seems. Oh. There we go. Yeah, it's working. Hi. Okay. Hi, kitty. I'm just really bad. <laughs> Well, all three uh, controllers work. Yep, very impressive. Yeah. Oh, when they clump together, it's much easier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it definitely does slow down a little a bit. A little bit. Um, with three people. Maybe, and maybe the ducks. with the adventure does. Did it slow down with two people? No. Uh, didn't no, notice it. I didn't notice it. Okay, just three. Yeah. Too many inputs. Every drawing, yeah. Nice work. <laughs> Like shooting ducks on a Commodore screen. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Cursor controls are a bit fiddly. I think I'll need to tweak them. Also, James is a bit fast. James is pretty good. Yep. I've had a practice over this past pretty week. Pretty good with a light gun. I did warm that gun up, though. It's true. That it is, is true. That's real warm. Yeah. Dave did get it ready for you. <laughs> yeah, the clicker's good. Okay. 
I think we're good. Yeah, okay. I think we so too. We do have to move on. It is a nice game, though. It is very nice. It game. looks gorgeous. It plays really well. It's a fun multiplayer game. It is. Um, I can't wait to play two-player light gun or more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be on the lookout for two more guns. Okay. Uh, probably the light phasers. Cause I wonder if you can DIY cheaper. them. People do DIY them? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because uh, you just need a light sensor yeah. and a yeah. tube. You can do it with a cardboard right. tube or something. You can make a really cool one. <laughs> yeah. 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 You could. Find your own mold. Find any gun. Just, yeah. just use Hollow a, it out. like a piece of pipe almost, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Then I could dip it in sparkly glitter. There you go. <laughs> that would be mine. That's true. <laughs> that would be mine. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to disconnect this and just connect the light gun up to port one. So we can check out uh, very briefly... The non homebrew light gun games, because this is the only homebrew light gun game. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course, it's all tangled. Carl G, I seriously think it looks a lot more fun than Duck Hunt. You know what, Carl G, I it agree. Is. There's a lot more going on. Duck Hunt, you just get two ducks, mm -hmm. and then they and fly it, away. And like it. It was so cool, but then after a while, you're like, eh, eh it's just the same thing over and over again. Right. Heat shooting is good, though. On that, uh, the skeet shooting, yeah. Part yeah. of the duck, yeah, uh, that was duck hunt. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we don't need that. Do you want this pulled back here? Or is that good? Move that out of the way as well. Okay. Um, if anybody wants to trigger the cat, uh, oh yeah, cat if anyone treat time, has enough bits, bits to trigger treat time, it's treat time. Yum, 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 yum. yum. <laughs> Reason they, do they, they know the uh, the audio cue, do they? Oh, oh they, do. they do. They know the the, the intro. That's song, awesome. Too. Yeah. Is Let's that gonna work? That. Oh yeah, that'll work. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So Dave, you're in for a treat. Mm. I don't want to. I don't want a treat. No, but you're you're. <laughs> this is a good time. Yep. Actually, we'll do it. Are we good? We'll still do it here. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So. Let's switch over. Let me get it ready. Cat oh. cam. It's oh, yeah. going to be much closer cat cam today. Does Dave get a bell? <laughs> Dave gets, Dave a bell. gets treats. We do have three bells. We he do, actually. You can compete with the cats. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, start the predictions. Who wants to bet okay. on who? So. Um, what happened last time? Atari so won. So Atari won the first round last time. And Sprite won and the Sprite second. Sprite won the second. So it's any cat's game. Any cat's mm -hmm. game. Uh, Sprite is uh, the favorite. Yes. Atari's a long shot, but he pays well if everybody bets on Sprite. <laughs> yeah. So you have two minutes to bet. Oh, oh my goodness. There's a lot of... Who, who, so who's, uh, can you flip it over? Who is uh, in the lead right now? I think it's, a, is it Atari? Oh, oh, no, it's jumped back up. Oh, it's balanced. Who will win? Flip it to what? <laughs> so I can see what people are betting. I can't see anything on that screen. Right oh, I don't. Um, don't you have it on the... Uh... Um, oh, there? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Five people on Sprite. Three people on Atari. Let's reset the points. Oh, to this. That's oh, what there. I was looking for. There okay. we go. Oh, look at that. Those huge cats. Yeah, they're massive. They're bigger than ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a very zoomed in cat. Very zoomed in yeah. cat. Uh, five to yeah. three. We've got about 45 seconds left. Carl G. The poor cats have to wait longer for their treats because of the betting now. It's <laughs> so true. <laughs> Get some revved up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get some really excited. And Nostalgic says a new person is here and there's a new console on the floor. There's different conditions. It's anyone's game. That's right. And if ever, anybody <sighs> noticed, I added a, a new thing. So okay. anybody makes an icon in the chat, they'll float up the screen. <gasps> really? So I'll show you. Oh, I'll, I'll, no way. It, just in this screen or for any of the any, games? Any, any, any. Any time. So I'll put a bunch of Ataris and Sprites. There we go. Oh, and apparently a Rage Reset. Um... <laughs> And I press it. Look, look, look at all the sprites oh. and the dark. Oh look my goodness. That's cool. Look at them floating around. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, it's okay. No, okay. I know it's coming. Betting it's is coming. done. Okay. All right. So what do we have? Ooh, Sprite definitely has a lot of Six. people behind him. So mm -hmm. there's 
18,000 points up for grabs on Sprite and 10,000 points wow. up for grabs on Atari. So okay. lots of points. Mm -hmm. So I will let you put that down. So yep. I Echo. think Atari's on the left. Yep, always. And we'll just make sure it's in the camera view. Are you ready, cats? Is it there? Yep. Okay, cats, cats, the bell is on the ground. Oh, and Atari in Atari, the lead. Atari's off to a great start. Oh, Sprite. no, the door's open. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, you'll have to shut it as soon as he comes back. Sprite is baffled. Oh, no, he gets one. There we go. Get that in there. But... Okay. Wait till he's in. in. No, I'm you have in. to wait till he's in. in. There you go. There you go. Okay. okay. Oh, Atari gets another ring. <laughs> there you go. He's trying to run away with it again. Oh, oh Sprite, Sprite rings Oh, around. he knocked it across the room. <laughs> Sprite. Oh, my goodness. Crazy. They're all over the place today. Oh, Atari. Atari is in the lead. Three to two. He's trying to run away with it again. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> he's, very, he's protecting. Oh, don't interfere. Uh-oh, right. people are going to complain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, a double ring for Atari. It only counts oh. as one. <laughs> yeah, four, four. Sprite's tied it up. He's catching up a little bit, but Sprite, Atari's still kind of. Oh no! Sprite is taking <laughs> oh, the lead. One. Five, five. Oh, it's tied my up. Goodness. Atari's keeping his own, but he's running away with the treats. Oh, Sprite's playing quickly. He's just gobbling them up. Six, five. Oh no, he's confused. He's doing nope. a soft touch. Atari's coming. Oh, Sprite gets it. <laughs> Atari's Try pawing again. the bell, but Try he's not again, getting Atari. it. There oh, he goes. There go. He's bringing it up. It's still one behind. He needs to really keep moving if he's going to catch up. Oh, Sprite has pulled ahead. 8-6. He's two ahead now. Oh, Atari has an option if he eats this one quickly and rings it again. Can he do it? Can he do it? Sprite misses. Oh, oh, Atari ties it up. It's 8-8. Eight, eight. My goodness. Wow. It is neck and neck. What Fluffy a comeback. Who's next? Oh, oh Atari pulls Atari. ahead. Wow, this is unexpected. And he runs off. Oh, that's Sprite. a bad move. Sprite, Sprite, again, Sprite. Sprite can take over now. He's Sprite not again, distracted. Buddy. Oh, Sprite ties it up. It is game point. Atari's approaching. He oh, does Atari. it. Atari. Atari gets it. Atari for points. the win. Wow, people who bet on Atari are happy tonight. <laughs> yeah, they're splitting <laughs> a big pot. What do we want? Atari. Yeah, good kitties. Good mm -hmm. kitties. Good kitties. <laughs> That's quite a game. <laughs> yeah. It's a crazy game. Wow, great showing Atari. <laughs> Boom. Prediction results is Atari. Yay. So, oh, Smitty B. Great showing. Yeah, Smitty so, B gets a ton. The man of the hour, Smitty B, wins the big points. Wow. Good betting. <laughs> 28,000 points split between Smitty B and two others. Wow, Ooh. they got the jackpot today. They did. Yeah. Thank you, Atari, for making my day. <laughs> there we go. I'm back to what I had before, before I blew all my points on bets. <laughs> Protest! <laughs> Atari in an upset. That was a big upset. Wow. Smitty, Dan, and Nostalgic. Very good job. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, guys. Yes, we, thank we're you. still playing light gun games. So, yep. um, all day, all night. Yeah. Okay. So let's briefly take a look at some other uh, 7800 light gun games, beginning with Crossbow. <laughs> Not the person in the chat, but the game Crossbow. So let's, uh, we're good there. Let's switch back over here. Excellent. Up. And you can see in the chat the numbers are who they bet on. Mm. So the one and the two. Cool. I like that. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, for me. Sure. Yeah. Crossbow. Okay. So press the button. I think. Yep. Okay. So on oh. Yep. Oh. Thank you for subscribing. Vintage gaming memories. And also to Miss Command Al Nefer, mm -hmm. uh, to who subscribed before the show. Thank you so much. Excellent. So, so you just pick one of those paths. You just pick random. Doesn't matter. Try to. Oh, there, red path. So you have to protect your person who's walking, your people who walk across the screen. 
by shooting the things that are coming after them. Can I firm that? You can see your crosshairs. Okay. Don't oh. shoot your friends. Who am I? Who is my friend? <laughs> Those two people. Shoot that guy up there. Lower, lower. There you go. Ah! Someone died. Yep. <laughs> One person survived, and you get a bonus person. Excellent. Wait, this isn't Casey's gold. <laughs> Did we promise Casey's gold? What is going on? Why is it so high? I think your angle. Maybe is I it? should play it. You yeah. want to? You want to try it from there? Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Oh, see, yeah. Mine. It was just very off. The mm. uh, crosshairs. Oh, comets. Things on roofs? This was not what I was expecting. I expected it all to be in the desert, not... Um, oh, no, it changes. There's different Not scenes. in a city. But, uh, oh, it's very unusual to see two people in, like, their Speedos walking <laughs> in the <laughs> middle of, like, a suburban neighborhood. <laughs> That's very funny. That's <laughs> <laughs> not what I was expecting. <laughs> we'll play one more level, and we'll move on. Okay. So this is not homebrew. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. This does not count as homebrew. Oh, the cacti in the desert scene made me think of Casey's gold. Oh, okay. Yeah. Eyeballs in the sky. Someone had fun with this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This is a very creepy game on in the arcade. It's an arc. Oh, was it originally an arcade game? Yeah. Crossbow? Yeah. Uh, gotcha. Good. There's a little bit of room there because there was a scorpion that came out at the last second. Okay, here we go. Okay, hold that. Then we're gonna go to Barnyard Blaster from 1988. Nice. Is there actually a knob on the back of this gun, or is that just uh, the? That's just fake plastic. Just a oh, yeah. real plastic, but a fake knob. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't do anything. The knob. It's just for just for show. Um, okay. Click psychological on the support. I don't know. <laughs> That's right. One player. I guess I missed adjust. Yeah, you've got to kind of adjust <laughs> with the game. Uh, the Atari uh, light gun is notoriously poor <laughs> at aiming. <laughs> let's say. Is he? Uh, there's a bonus at the end. Oh yeah, the gopher. Yeah. How mean. Ooh, Kev targets. says, I remember playing Crossbow at the Safeway at the Willowbrook Mall. Uh, clever game concept, but I don't know if I would find it fun at all. It's not bad, um, the um, Crossbow. Okay. Good job. This one's more traditional. It is nice that you see where you've just hit. Yes. Yeah, you, you kind of need that. A crosshair is so important. I was going to suggest that to Smitty to add a crosshair into his game, but I think... This game doesn't support crosshairs because of the way it detects mm. on the screen. Because I think this one flashes a full white, so it knows exactly where you're on. And his looks for boxes. As I described the two methods mm. of um, detecting where the light gun's pointing. There you go. Yeah, not possible to have crosshair in Duck's Life. Mm. This one is cuter, at least. Yeah, very it good graphics cute. in the, this the one. The backgrounds mm. are really nice. Look at that. Oh, nice. Do you shoot the um, <laughs> scarecrow? Too? Everything. Uh, don't really shoot the scarecrow. No. I try. You get to protect the scarecrow. Blue targets. Nice. Oh. Were you supposed to hit all the um, vegetables? I think I got points for them. <laughs> or maybe you're not supposed to hit them. Well, the yeah. bird, but the birds didn't start. Oh, is it, is it bunny? bunny. Yeah, let know. <laughs> Totally on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next one. Eight alien Brigade. Oh. Mm. Never played this Blackbirds one. away, says Smitty B. Blackbirds away. <laughs> you want to have a go? Uh, I'll have a go. Okay. Sure. Okay. Well, that's creepy. Alien Brigade. Very nice. 89. I think this one just might be like shooting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. They're all this one. Yeah, they're all aliens, so it's not really. You know, they're not killing humans. No. 
And then there's things that I did briefly play this when it was testing. Atari's version of Operation Wolf. Right. You have to shoot Neat. things that come from the sky to get more ammo. Oh, that was a good shot. <laughs> yeah. mm. Don't shoot that guy. Nope. This one's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Good it graphics. Looks, it looks uh, pretty challenging, too. There's, not, there's a lot going on the screen, and the scrolling is really nice as well. And uh, different types of uh, enemies. And you have to shoot the tanks, like, a bunch of times. Oh, that's a chance you want to get. DVD says, without the sweet easy. Those tanks don't seem very armored. Agreed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Six shots from my gun. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm out of bullets. Hi. And you're dead now. Messed up. Okay, well that's enough of that game. Oh, uh, did, you, did you shoot when you when you lift it up? Did something happen? No. no. Um, no. How do you get more um, bullets? I think I missed something. <laughs> yeah, a reload. Yeah. Uh, next one's Meltdown. But it's a very fun game. I just don't know how to play it. Those aliens remind me a bit of like District 9 or something. Oh, yeah, they know. do. Yeah. Oh, they advertise this game a lot in video game magazines back in the 80s. We don't have a password. Power crystals. Sparks to eliminate 15. Sure. Kill those sparks. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Not no, very you, can big. See, you can see where you shot, though. That's good. Is it paintball? <laughs> paintball sparks? Paintball. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Reactor? Are we? What are we shooting? Here? Yeah, it's a react reactor one. I'm guessing you're trying to protect it. Oh, no. Twelve, eleven sparks remaining. Interesting. Interesting concept. Ten. Ooh, got a high score for something you shot. <laughs> Smitty says, I have this, but I've never actually played it. Yeah, it's not as intuitive. Not as engaging as the other, other two. No, this is a single screen. Yeah. And I'm guessing it's going to be the same-ish same every screen. The other ones are scrolling. and there's... So is there like a nuclear meltdown if you don't shoot all the spots? I kind of want to see that. Ride. There doesn't seem to be any... You oh, might it, see does, it. it is kind of eating away, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is <laughs> eating away at it in the middle. The purple is... Yeah, is, yeah oh, it is eating away at the purple. It. That's right, we're going to see them out there. Yeah. Oh, it's getting smaller. The screen's getting oh, smaller. Oh, so there's also that. Oh, the pipes are, like... Oh, coming. boy, constricting. Oh, yeah, my goodness. Yeah, that makes it we're challenging, gonna have, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> Chernobyl soon. Yeah. yeah. Now it's at minimum. Oh, no, it's getting smaller. Oh, no. <laughs> No. No, I think. I think. Done. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh my. Uh, melting to the core of the earth. That's right. Oh, Hit her on the CRT. The end. Oh, is. Okay, and for the last game, um, I don't think it'll display properly because it was only released in PAL. Okay. So it might be flippy flippy. So we'll see. Flippy, flippy, and flashy. And flashy. Oh, flashy. A little bit of everything, yeah. you know? <laughs> a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Yep. Here you go, sir. Thank you. It may not even display. And it does not. <laughs> oh. We're skipping this one. But we will see Sentinel on the 2600. And then, okay, Just cool. Just hold that for me, and uh, I need right? to swap out to the 2600 now. So, on the poll... Doesn't change. No, it doesn't. Uh, do you have an Atari light gun? Uh, or a light gun that works for the Atari? Yes. Uh, number two one with no, but I want one, 73%. That, that makes sense. And then a yes, 26%. That's quite a high level of viewers who have an mm -hmm. Atari light gun at home. Yeah, and 0%, <laughs> no, I don't want one. Oh. Everybody has one Everybody or wants one. Everybody would like one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought it was going to be like convincing some people at the end. It's like, oh, that looks cool. Maybe I do want one. But nope, everybody wants one. That's fair enough. So we're done with 7800. Time to switch over to the 2600. <laughs> Smitty B says 73.3% of people need to step up their light gun. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Maybe this will convince them to get out and uh, get one. Yeah. Okay, so that cool. is good. <laughs> so 
This should work. <clears throat> the sample might be biased, though. Yes, it is a somewhat biased sample of people oh, who yeah. <laughs> watch this show. It's very, very biased. <laughs> I have to keep that in mind with any of the polls that yeah. we do. Yep. Okay, does this work? What do we have? Ooh, I see some... Nothing. Lovely uh, snow. Oh. oh. Almost. Oh. Oh, Something's coming up. Bad Something is a little just. Uh, there we go. Plugged and unplugged. Yeah. Okay. The color is quite different though. Yeah, it's terrible. Okay. Except the rainbow <laughs> harmony. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the harmony does look good. Yeah. Okay. So there is a total of one homebrew for the Atari 2600. Mm. So it matches. Uh, 7800 now. Mm -hmm. It's called Bobby Needs Food. Um, <laughs> and this was from 2005. Can you believe one light gun is, game has been made for the 2600 in 2005, 2005. and none since? Yeah. For the next, whatever, years. Well, maybe years. we'll encourage some developers to make maybe. some new games. So this is a 32K game made by Belial. Um, we have to plug the gun into port 2 okay. of the 2600. That's All the cool kids have one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Smitty B, but do you have four? No, then it's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> not enough. For ducks Everyone away. needs four. <laughs> four light guns. <laughs> uh, yes, D train. For ducks, well, you missed it unfortunately, but for ducks away, it allows for four light guns at once mm. in, in the gameplay if you have a quad tari. So. That's right. So you need a yep. quad tari. And a light gun. <laughs> VBG. Unfortunately, less and less people have CRTs. Some oh, folks' that's... wives make them throw them away. <laughs> that's true. So you need, <laughs> for ducks away, you need four light guns. Yes. A CRT. Correct. And a quad tar. Yes, right. and a wife who doesn't throw your CRTs that's right. away. So <laughs> it's it's a big ask, let's say. <laughs> Some wives just ask their husbands to throw away six of their eight CRTs. Just putting it out there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did have six. <laughs> I did have eight. Eight. Oh my god. Yeah. I was gonna make a grid mm -hmm, for of sure. nine. That'd be cool. Uh, um but it didn't happen. Were they all the same? They're all just, this. Yeah, that's a pretty sweet. And just just do. just gets added to the marriage resentment. Al, you know, Al, like that's just how it works. <laughs> Al from Atari is like, Oh, I wish I knew you in two thousand eleven. Because that's when I uh, sold them. I didn't yeah. throw them out, I sold No, them. you did sell them. <clears throat> okay. I did let you keep two, so I just want to make so, that clear. Start the game. Sore topic. Sore topic. Oh. Yeah. Oh, where is it? Pistol. Oh. There we go. What am okay. I shooting? So you have to shoot the red ones when your gun is red and the green ones when what? the gun is green. When is where's the gun? Or your the target. Your, your target. Oh. And when you're out of bullets, you shoot that down there to refill. Oh, so I don't So you gotta what go red now. What is going on? So I So when it turns red you go red, yeah. Oh I see. Oh now you're green. Oh, I get it. Oh my goodness, this is so hard. So I don't control it, I just shoot. There's uh, no light gun usage. No. But, but when you shoot it, it moves it the target, moves. right? It moves the target when you shoot it. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm a little confused. That's okay. Oh, I see. So it jumps. <laughs> Wait, what am, I, what am I shooting? Am I shooting what's you're green, at, in my crosshairs, yeah. or am I shooting what I'm pointing the you're gun at? You're shooting what you're pointing Are those drones? <laughs> <laughs> they do look like drones. Ah! I'm, I'm out of bullets. You're out of bullets. That's why. I'm so confused. Here, I'll show you. Okay. So, so see, that shows how many bullets you have. Yeah. No, no, no. I understand that. Now I have full bullets, and it's green, oh, so shoot I shoot it. the green ones. Yeah, but it's green, but the crosshairs are where you last shot. Yes. You... yes. Okay. I thought I was pulling the trigger and shooting at what my crosshairs were at. Right. So that's a little bit deceptive. <laughs> but neat. That's neat. Yeah, you're doing much better than I just did. If you shoot the wrong color, you lose points. Mm. I understand. Oh, yeah, you haven't changed any card images. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I made a generic one. So 
There you go. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. I do appreciate. I had no idea someone had done a 2600 light gun homebrew. Phaser Cat Games has. I Just had to one. do a lot of research over many months to find out all these games. <laughs> this one was a little bit easier to find, but um, still. Yeah, the buzzing is you're out of bullets. Oh, oh, I guess there's a timer. There's oh. that something in the background is, is falling and dropping into the water. Is that the sun? I think that's the sun setting. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, the sunset. So yes. that's okay. it. All right. So it's it's time. It's the the most uh, you can shoot in the time allotted. Yeah. All right. Or me. So you're red. Out of bullets. No. There you go. <laughs> it looks insanely hard. It's it, not it, the easiest of. It's probably the hardest of the games we played. Actually. It is. It's it's challenging. Oh dear. Especially because you run out of bullets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. But it, it's a great concept. It is. It's definitely they not had easy. a point and you lost it because you shot. I know. Uh, <laughs> Try to reload. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. There you go. Says, I finished my second homebrew game today. It's called Bobby Needs Food. Bobby is now at home, but he's very hungry. So he takes his rifle and hunts some birds for lunch. <laughs> this player has to aim and shoot the birds flying around. This game is playable via light gun or joystick. But I thought of it as a light gun game. Each round is about two minutes. He's changed that. Um, so he added seasons. Give color uh, birds a different color. Oh. Or... Um, and he gave ammunition after some people suggested it. And then he changed it so the uh, crosshairs changed color and he had to get different colored birds with different crosshairs. I have a suggestion yep. for the marketing of this game. <laughs> okay. I don't think it should... What was it? Bobby is hungry? Bobby needs food. Bobby needs food. I think it should be Bobby hates drones. Yes. Because they look so much like drones. Change the graphics just a little bit. I don't even think you need to change it. This is th their fair representations of drones, Clear. and it should be just Bobby shooting drones out of the sky. <laughs> government, there's too much government overreach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, overreach, or he hates Amazon. I don't know. Yep. Amazon uh, delivery <laughs> is clouding the sky with exactly. drones. Exactly. <laughs> or people flapping their arms really fast as yep. they float by. Yeah. The Jaguar almost had a light gun game from American Laser Games, Mad Dog McCree. Uh, but by then, Atari dropped out of the video game business. Oh, Mad Dog McCree. If you remember Corey on the show, mm. uh, he used to work in an arcade, and they had Mad Dog McCree, and that's all you could hear all day long in the arcade. Oh, Mad really? Mad Dog McCree, blah, blah, blahing. Oh, the whole really? Time. Oh, my gosh. Because it's kind of like a laser disc playing my, over and over again. Get stuck. Oh, I, I think it's over. Yep. So it's, a, it's kind of a cool game, it's got mm. a very good concept. Um, so then there is one retail game, which is Sentinel, that we couldn't play in the 7800. Okay. But we'll be able to take a look at it on the 2600. Cool. And I think I have to plug this into port one. Yep. Yeah. Hold that for a second. Yep. Nostalgic. He's had, he's still hungry and he's That's getting right. the drones to drop their pizzas. Um, yeah, pseudographics drones as they are today weren't around in 2005. Yes, I'm I'm suggesting a reboot <laughs> where he's shooting the drones. I think so too. I think so. I think they look like they look like. Oh, drones. you can shoot your um, orb to make it go back up in the sky. Oh, this hurt. Yes. Uh, Phaser Cat Games. I remember renting the Sega CD version of Mad Dog McCree. It wasn't good. <laughs> It's not great. It's just yeah. a. It's it's like um. Um. It's it's like Dragon's Lair. Oh. Pretty much, except okay. with a light gun. Gotcha. Like okay. things come on the screen, you shoot them. And you have to do it perfectly, or plays, you're dead. Plays yes. Perfect dead. Perfect dead, and then you have to start over. Yeah. It's it's not. It's a, a 
film things, like live actors. I, I, I've always found that really cool. The concept's cool, it's just like... Oh. I'm waiting for Netflix to, to start having games like that. Ooh, interactive Netflix games. Yeah, with a Leica. Well, they did uh -huh. uh, They did have an interactive... <laughs> I don't know, um, they, 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 and they still have a few. Like, I noticed there was something recent, too, that wasn't the uh, Bandersnatch from um, oh, uh, Black Mirror. There was something else that also said it was interactive. They also have quizzes. Oh, yes. Um, ah! But you could totally, like, I don't know, someone should put Dragon's Lair on uh, Netflix. And, uh, you could totally do that. You could totally do that. I don't know if the audience you know, is very big. But, I also uh, don't know how, how good the reaction like time would be. But, yeah, that's true. Yeah. You have to slow down the reaction time. Suddenly all these Sega CD games are, are showing up on, uh, <laughs> on, on Netflix. Netflix. Oh, I'm going to die. I couldn't get the orb to move back up when I was shooting I at it. I thought you could, but maybe you have to shoot something else mm. to get the fuel. Go back up. Okay, we're not really concentrating on the retail games. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh. Yeah, choose your own adventure type. And there was one prototype unreleased. Shooting arcade. Nice. Is something in particular? Oh, sorry. There you go. Uh, and there's like, it says there's six games. This one you have to turn them all off, I think. Okay, so simple. Just turn yep. them all off? Yep. There's no like pattern? No, I don't think so. Just have to do it in the time. It's not like you can accidentally turn them back on, too. Yay, good job. <laughs> kind of a simple game there. Yeah. And this one's a bit more traditional. Ooh. That's good. That's good. Very tiny. Oh, we got two and one. Ooh. They didn't know which one you shot at. Ducks. Nice. Kind of once you get used to the yeah the off centerness of it, You're right. you have to shoot out all the colors. Then oh. then it's pretty good. Yeah, good. we're at an angle, so that's the problem. <laughs> oh no, so close. I think it's the maybe the angle. Yeah, it is. you do have like, to be, you kind straight, of have to be on. straight on. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. They're very small. You just need those first ten calibration bullets. Yes, you do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> See? Oh. More and more points. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh. I've been wasting my time. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Carl G says I kind of dig this one. This one's not bad. It's mm. too bad it didn't get released. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can play it now, but um, it's pretty good. It would have been quite good at retail. I mean, if you had an XCGS and a gun and a 2600. In uh, what year? Uh. What? Did I no, miss too many times? Oh, maybe. Oh. What year did this... Well, it didn't come out. 1989 oh. it was developed. So right in. at the end of the... Uh, very close to the end of the 2600. Mm -hmm. Which was 92. Amazingly enough. That's the worst level right there. It's so hard. It's pretty small. It didn't even fully I guess out. I ran out of bullets. You must have run out of okay. bullets. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, I'm... no, no, no. <laughs> we're going to the next one. Okay. Oh, there's another one. I thought this was... Uh... That's it. Now we're going to 8-bit games. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Now we'll switch everything around again. Hi, cat. Snap time after that. Snap. I know. <laughs> now I, I have to deal with... Uh... You're a little stinky, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
The yellow one goes into the Audio. red one, and then the, yeah. <laughs> yellow to red, I don't know if that'll work. Yeah. <laughs> good it's good. Not good here. Oh, yeah, because we have to go S video there. S video. Boom. That looks terrible. <laughs> it, it needs a wiggle. <laughs> yeah. Wiggle something. A Sorry. Smack, <laughs> maybe? Um, I'll try, but. It's alright. Still, it's functional. Intelligible. This is not my normal setup, so you just have to work through it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It just feels authentic. That's all. So it's hard to differentiate between retail and homebrew on the eight bit, but there were some that were actual retail. Like sold. Yeah. Yeah. So the first one goes back to 1985, and it's wow. not really a retail <laughs> game. It's called Matrix. Um. Let's see. It doesn't really work well with the joystick, but we'll take a look at it. I mean, the light gun, but we'll take a look at it anyway. So we have to have joystick in port one and light gun in port two. Where is the light gun pocket? There it is. Thank you, Danny. The, the concept of port, I realize, is something a young person wouldn't even understand nowadays. Uh, no. No. My, my USB ports aren't numbered. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this right here? Try it again. Why? <laughs> Left foot Why? green, right hand red, so it's going to be two double down. Oh, because this is in. Yeah. What did I say? Matrix. Excellent. Dave, Dave Oblad, 1985. Mm. Okay. So. BBS and the phone number is still on the game. That's awesome. <laughs> Give it a that call. is amazing. Option to use a light pen. Joystick. Oh. To use the joystick. Oh, I don't like that. That's I, I hate how that's a that. logic puzzle right there. Is this a light pen? Yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. It's, so we have to take turns. Wait, wait, no, this no, is cool. No, no, you're playing my turn. What? I'm playing your turn. Oh. It's on light pen. Because it wasn't. You weren't picking a joy joystick. Um, is that on joystick? I don't understand. Should work. The pen is mightier than the sword. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you're supposed to get place them five in a row. Oh. Um, Hello. Oh, you did it there. Oh, okay. Oh, you're doing it. Wait, I'm controlling it. <laughs> what is uh, going on here? It's collaboration. Mm. Ooh, ooh. I can still do it. Yeah, one more. So one more, or there you go, and we win. No. Okay. Okay. Get it there. Yay! Yay! That's, That's cool. Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a five in a row game. Okay. Hmm. There you go. Something was wrong. Oh, you've got a happy cat. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Next guy. one is called Blazing Paddles. Oh my god. That's awesome. <laughs> it just presses up. Yes. <laughs> so nice. Hi. What's up, buddy? Oh, ne next one's not Blazing Paddles. That is a drawing program. Okay. okay. Uh, next one's Bug Hunt. Bug uh, Hunt. So this, from now on, we'll... Skip Bug Hunt, says VVG Double Down. No. Why? We're just going to show it. It's not even <laughs> with Bug Hunt. <laughs> that was from before. Oh. So we have to pick it with the keyboard. Gotcha. And then after it's loaded, Play then some cat we... games. Bug hunt, bug hunt, bug hunt. <laughs> bug hunt. Connect oh, five. Pat, you're pat. silly. Yes, you're silly. Works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a he's a cuddle cat. Oh, he is. Yeah. He's sweet. Come on, bug hunt. There we go. He's full Something of love, different. aren't mm -hmm. you? Yes, you are. Sorry <laughs> about the interference. There's too many wires all over the place. 
There are a lot of wires in this room. <laughs> I tried to reduce it, but there's so many things happening. Mm -hmm. I can't. Oh, oh my god, I was about to give up. Okay. That now looks it's... cool. Yep. Go for it. What am I doing? One player. Shoot bugs. Ooh, they're bugs on circuit boards. Yeah. Ah, yes, they are. Just all over the chips. <laughs> that's where the that's where it came from, right? The term debug. It came from wow. when the, like moths or something would climb in and really? mess up circuits, they'd and they would the really? find the bugs and pull them out. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I've heard that. Do you think it's the I truth? I think it's like. A f I'm not sure. I can't remember where it actually comes from. It might be that, mm -hmm. but it might be like that's what people say. That's yeah. the urban legend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ugh, not Go very Google good. knows. Google always knows. Mm. Get out of there. Get. This should be sound. This is frog hunt, apparently. I don't know why it's not sound. Toad hunt? Toad hunt. The Am I not is... supposed to hit the frogs? Oh, that's why there's no sound. Oh, my goodness. The that frog is sound. a rather large bug. Score, accuracy bonus, total score. It should be sound now. Oh, that was it. My turn. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. Sorry. Hi, kitty. Is there sound now? No, no sound. Oh, there is sound. Yay. Now I've got it working. A lot quieter on the 8 bit. There we go. Okay, I'm going to lose because I haven't been shooting bugs. There we go. Let's try it again. There we go. Google knew. Is it true? Trace back to the 1940s. Um, yeah. A colleague found a mod impending operation to one of the university's computers. Cool. Ah. Just accuracy 33%. One. Mm -hmm. oh. No. No, my accuracy. No, no, they're tiny. Give me a ton of tiny ones. Mm -hmm. the, the big ones, like the frogs, are just a gimme. Almost. Yeah. Those are the easiest. I think the, the computer. 34. The computer wouldn't even boot if there was a frog in it. <laughs> Probably not. Oh no! 56. I'm fine with that. I want that. Next game Barnyard Blaster, which we have played, but uh, we'll take a look at it again. Barnyard Blaster? On the Atari 8 bit. Nice. The term. Oh, Miss Command? Did you read out what Miss Command yes. said? Yeah. Okay. Oh, also. Some of these games are not going to work because they're PAL games, and I couldn't plug in my PAL system because we wouldn't be able to see it. You guys would because my uh, RetroTank does handle PAL signals, but this TV doesn't. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. It just goes nuts. Oh. There's the end. Oh, nice. Have you ever wired this 4S video? Uh, yes. Yeah. Is this the same game we played before? It is. But it's on the apron. So oh, I see. Different. It's an entirely different game. A lot of different animations. Yeah. Or... Mm -hmm. Might look a touch different. Is that lightning gun with DB9 connected? Yes, it is. Mm. It's a 9 pin uh, light gun. That works on the Atari 2600, 7800, and 8 bit system. Oh, good job. One shot. <laughs> You're just holding <laughs> steady right above the barn where they all fly above. Does it work with Amigos too, then? Mm. That's a good question. I think it needs to be rewired. For like Amigas and Commodores and other systems, I think it only works on the Atari. Okay. You go ahead, yeah. But I'm not sure because they are similarly wired. Yeah, I don't think you get yeah. points for those. I don't think so. It just uses up your bullets. It shows points for but, the but the other things. But the birds don't start until you hit them all. Oh. Oh really? Yeah. Ah. I don't know. You'd have to look up whether it works on Amigas and C64s. Poor I bunny. think it might. But I'm not 
sure. Might have to make some sort of adaption. Okay, we've seen this one. Mm -hmm. uh, next one is Cementerio. Cementerio, that's an unusual game. Oh, it's killing things in a cemetery. Oh, sorry, I haven't been uh, saying the years. This one is 1989, last one was 1987. Press on Boton de su pistola. Shoot the bad guys, that's all there is. Mm -hmm. okay, is this currently uh, playing? Uh, yeah, oh, maybe. yeah, it is. Oh, it just doesn't. It cares. <laughs> is it slow? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot that scarecrow in his dumb face. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Smitty B says, I expect to work on the VIC-20 C64. Not sure about Amiga, but possibly. Yeah, because you can use a joystick on the C64. That's from the Atari. Mm. They're both compatible. Um, that. But it does use a different pin for the X and Y. It doesn't show crosshairs in this game. No, not until you shoot. Yeah. Like it does. It, doesn't even it does. Flash. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, right. it doesn't. That is interesting. How did they do that? Probably because it's so. You can't tell what's going on. <laughs> it's an interesting one. Yeah. It's kind of. It's a uh, good graphics, mm -hmm. but the responsiveness is. Very slow. White poor. Yeah. Yeah. Blackman says, I love the lightning gun shape because it looks almost like a the George Lucas design. It does. Yeah, it's great. I feel a little like that. Yeah. <laughs> or Han Solo. Yeah. Okay. Moving on to the next one, which is Crime Buster from 1988. Crime Buster. It's finished. <laughs> finished copying data. Now loading. This is from Ron. Oh, I'm not going to say that name. <laughs> it's too hard. All the Fandel, Polish names. 2007. There you go. Oh, that's just a conversion. Oh, I see. Uh, this is from uh, 1988. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, the any key. Same same thing as the uh, barnyard blaster. It is. I think they copied that. Oh, one player. Oh, okay. I guess I was randomly So shooting. you pick what part of the city you want to go to. Let's go here. And then click it again to confirm. And this, the controls in this game are absurd. You don't shoot the cars. No. What you do is you shoot the controls. That's for your gun in the bottom right hand corner where your bullets are going to go out. See them? And that's to speed up and slow down. It is the worst controls I've ever heard of in a game. It's uh, absolutely mind-bogglingly hard to play. Oh my ah! <laughs> you give it a go. It's definitely. It says, "Oh what?" Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's absurd. It's wow. there by the water. That okay. is something else. Would probably be playable with a pen. Maybe. Uh, with a pen, it's probably a little easier. Better. Yeah. Shoot to the corner. Uh, oh, I was too slow. <laughs> Who the f thought this was a good idea for a <laughs> <like>, gun game? <laughs> yeah. I never made this. Uh, it's it was quite interesting. It's like lazy, right? It's yeah. just a one-button game. Got him. Yeah. Joking. It's like a gun-activated controller. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's absolutely atrocious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if we're playing it wrong, but that's how it Crunchy works. Crunchy point and kill interface. That took me a long time to figure out how to play that game. Yeah. So I was like, I'm shooting the cars, but they're not getting them. Uh, next one's crossbow, but we'll skip that one because it probably looks exactly the same. Yeah, very mm -hmm. true. <clears throat> uh, next one is Gangsterville. Mm Nineteen eighty-eight. 
Don't shoot the lady. Don't shoot the lady. <laughs> <laughs> don't shoot that either. Don't shoot the lady. Don't think there's bullets. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, definitely shoot that guy. And your bullets stay on the screen, which is yeah. kind of cool. Oh, that was the cop. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yep. yep. I think you shoot him. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, he's got a gun. I think he got you. Nope. Unarmed! <laughs> <There you go. laughs> yeah, it's a so Hogan's Alley clone, sort of. Yeah. It's three people in, in windows. Did mm. you get him? I think I did. Yeah, I think orange... Yeah, I got him. That that bullet is right on him. Orange is good. There we go. One shot. Nope. Almost. Is that the cop? I guess so. Blue? <laughs> blue. I, I shot him the game Avoid over. Avoid the so. blue. Mm -hmm. That's right. You the know. cop, the girl, anyone who doesn't look like they have a gun in their hand. That's mm -hmm. a cop. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Okay. No. Yeah, it's just three windows. No. You. <laughs> you look suspicious. <laughs> Why don't the cops get these guys? Yeah. The building's full of them. Why is it my job? Oh. Next level? Did Sounds I make like it? it. Or is that it? This is the game? Maybe. We, oh, no, it's loading. Oh, oh another screen. Nice. Okay. Now I've got four. Ooh, it's tiny. Tiny, tiny in the bank. Oh, my God. I'm gonna die. <laughs> what? Did I get it? No, it's game over. There we go. Gangsterville. That is Gangsterville. That's mm -hmm. not bad. Not a bad. I like how the, the bullets stay on the screen. Uh, next one's called Sharpshooter. For basic game, not too bad. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But after the, the car one. <laughs> yeah, that was it's, something else. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, this one's from 1989 by Matthew Ratcliffe. Connect light gun. Okay. Let's do that. Is that connect? Oh, there we go. Yeah, you just shoot the centers when it's ready. Oh. Just one, I think, per. Uh... Nice. Nice. This is interesting. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't, it keeps you moving so that you have to readjust each time. What does the car mean, I wonder? Pretty long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's speeding up, but. Oh, it is, yeah. Or Dave speeding. Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's just getting better. There we go. Final right. score: bullets per minute, sixty-three. <laughs> total hits, total very good percentage. Very oh, accuracy's nice. not N good. No, no, so good. Yeah. yeah. I guess misses is like right off. Yeah. I, I think accuracy is probably bullseye, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, twenty-three percent. I don't yeah, think that's too decent. bad. Mm -hmm. Next one we're gonna play is called Light Gun Blaster from nineteen ninety. Or version two. In a basic game. This game will only run properly with a light gun. Please read the game instructions. No. Light gun port one. Yeah. After the menu screen will appear, you see a grid of colored squares. The more squares in the higher levels, these will change colors. The game progresses. All you have to do is decide which color is the most common. And blast away at it. Oh, the most common. Okay. Make sure you aim well. You lose points for hitting the less common colors. Mm. Okay. You might find that you need to adjust the numbers used to calculate H for your own. Oh. Yeah. So it's like, oh, you need to reprogram this game if it doesn't fit on your screen. <laughs> <laughs> you need to adjust the H value in my basic program. Mm. That's pretty funny. Uh, okay. So blue. Oh my! What? It's constantly changing. 
boats like shoot the most common at any time score is going up that's interesting I can't tell which one is shot though. It doesn't like. I think they disappear. No? Um. Oh, they do. Okay. So you can't. You do get confirmation. Stage three for a little bit. That's Hi, Rod Castler. How come Tammy is not shooting? Let her shoot. It's you have angle. to be kind of right in front of it, which is why I haven't been doing a lot of shooting. I'm enjoying watching other people shoot, though. Yeah, the light gun doesn't yeah. work from the side too well. You have to be kind of right in front of that. I like this one. It's kind of a puzzle. It, it is. is. Your brain has to, like, process how many colors are on the screen. Puzzle and accuracy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's a nice twist. This is, uh... What is it? What are they called? Two seconds left. One second. Brain age kind of game. Mm, like yeah. It keeps, you, it keeps you on your toes. Great Very stuff. Very nice. Very nice. High score, 70. Mm -hmm. uh, next one is... Uh, Geister Schloss from yeah. 1992. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, kitties. We can probably turn the TV. Do you want to try some? Uh, no, you okay. keep going. I'm good. Geister Schloss. So, what does that mean? I didn't look it up. I oh. ran out of time. <laughs> There's so many things to do for this show. Yeah. There must be a German in the chat somewhere. Come on, Germans. <laughs> Where's Thomas? Oh, oh, nice. You get a yeah, pointer. That's cool. See, how does it do that? Without oh, he's gone. flashing the screen or anything. It's must be to do with, for a it white. must be to do with the retrace. I don't know. So you can, uh, this is just a... Uh, level to start with? Yeah. Name? Name von Spiel Spieler? Game, gamer, ghost Castle. Gamer 1. Pseudo Graphics says it's ah. Ghost Castle. I have to do like D. D. Then okay. You'll be D. Oh, just okay. We just need two. Tanya, not ready to play. All right. Uh, Spiel I'm, is play. Yeah. Okay. I'm team. One team. Mm -hmm. Spieler is player. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Just click okay. Let's get to the game. Uh, Correct. Yes. Nine. Yeah. 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 Kind of. We can't see the yeah. Uh. uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> They detrain number of players. Okay. Uh, I think we should put it at one. Uh, I don't know. Okay is okay oh, in German. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember this one. This is mm, interesting. It definitely should be one player, though. But <laughs> you can play for both. Okay, so you pick which direction you want to go, so it, as in door. So you click that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then it's player two. No, it's player two. You can play both players. Or I can play the yeah. first. You find it. Yeah. And you both you both have to find it's a very slow game. Um oh, what? Player three? Oh god, it would have three right. players. You keep shooting yourself? No. No, it just cycles. Actually three oh, players. That's do you funny. want to do you want to reset it to, to one? I got it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Cause it's it's kind of okay once you get playing mm -hmm. the game, but you first go through a maze to find the player where you play. Mm -hmm. cool. Three years of German in high school finally played off. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, one. Yes, there you go. Not, there wasn't a level thing. Oh, uh, it was players. Uh, whatever. Uh, sure. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then it's loading. Hopefully this is just one player. Yay! Is it just a maze game? Ne um, it's a maze, and then you find where you need to go to get the treasure... Dead end. Interesting. Kind of tedious, but how do you move with a light gun? This is how you move. Mm -hmm. Can I not go there? Oh, just have to. There we go. We're in a we're in a room now. No. Oh, what happened when I played? 
There was like a room where there was ghosts and stuff. Then you had to shoot the ghosts. We'll find one. Hi, what's up? You looking for more treats? <laughs> of course he is. Treats? Catnip? Something? Mm -hmm. He wants something. I'm getting eyeballs. Cat eyeballs. Eyeballs. Hi. Wants attention. Oh, he always wants attention. You gonna come up here? Come cuddle? Just Atari's being very... Is this a thing? Ooh. Code. Oh, God. Uh, oh, God. You need a code for that. How come when I played it before, I found, like, the action room right away? Oh. <laughs> and this is, like, not finding anything. That's kind of cool. You can input codes using the gun. Track. Come it's on. They should have just put arrows on the bottom of the screen to shoot. Oh, <laughs> left, right, up, down? Yeah. <laughs> I think I went down last time. Oh my god. Left hand side of the screen is really hard to shoot for some reason. Mm -hmm. I, think I went down before. Let's go right. So far, this is the least exciting of the games that we've played. 100%. Oh, yay! Action! Okay, I slowly make my way towards the key as the ghosts come down from the ceiling. Okay, that's something. That's a game. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to get the key, I think. <laughs> Rather than just walking through uh, screens. It's not much of something, but it is something. <laughs> it is something. <laughs> the live target is nice. Yes. <laughs> something moving. When they speed up, get faster. DVG has come up with an idea for a game. Yeah? He says, a co-op light gun version of Pac-Man where pit player two can shoot ghosts is what we need. Heard it here first, he says. There you go. Get on it. Uh-oh. Very chunky. But I must... Oh, God. no. There we go. So that's, uh... <laughs> Geisterschloss. Right? Geister slots. Next one's Operation Blood from 1992. <laughs> Smitty B, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> uh, I often said, thought of you chaps today when I heard that Atari were selling paddles in a four game cart. Ah. Mm. Well, the paddles are a good. A good thing because uh, the brand new paddles. Mm -hmm. So if you can't find good paddles, the price is not comparable to used paddles because mm -hmm. there's tons of those. But it's a good option. Oh, quite the load time on this one. I think it's a big game. No one's used to this anymore. <laughs> no, it's all super fast. There we go, Operation Blood. Start for, for game. game. Oh. Why would you make a button on the light gun for game? I know, it's a light gun. It should be couch compliant. Now it's got to load some more. <laughs> Just loaded that. Uh, Ooh. Oh, boy. oh. Ooh. you get it tracking. That's nice. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, oh no! Shot the dude. <laughs> this is very much like the uh, yeah. other game. Actually, I think it is. Except it's A pal game. It's going way off the screen. Yep, Operation Multiplayer. <laughs> no, no, Operation Wolf. Operation Blood. It's totally different. Totally game. different game. Oh, game over. So, but we get oh, the idea. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one is the sequel to this Operation Blood 2 Special Forces. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> put the light gun in port 2. Because it's Operation Blood 2. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Too. Yeah, just, just, they felt like it had to be in port two. What was it called? Operation, Operation. Blood Two. No, the sub name of it. Oh, oh no. I don't know. Forgot. There you go. Op Blood. 
isn't it? Special oh, that was one. Forces. Special Forces, yeah. At the, at oh, at the bottom. Hot oh, person blood to double the blood. Double blood. <laughs> More Still blood. cool green uh, uh, graphics. I like that. It is very nice. It's like it's trying to uh, replicate a uh, CRT that's. Uh, <laughs> What yeah. is it? Amber. Amber, and... green, yeah. Yeah, amber and green. Mm -hmm. Your two settings. Right. Would you like amber or green? They're both terrible! <laughs> I don't want either of them. I'm ready. Let's do it. No! Get there. Have a good rest of your night, did you, Trend? Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining. Oh, no, this is not good. I think this is PAL as well. The aiming is not working super hot. Yeah. It is like way over scanning. Yeah. Way off the screen. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still showing, which is good. But... Shot too much, and I'm dead. Okay, next game. It's a cool game, but <laughs> it doesn't work in NTSC very well. Yeah. Um, Alien Blast uh, from 1993. Also, sometimes incorrectly listed as alien invaders. Now in the public domain. Digitized sound. Mm -hmm. Richard Gore. Alien blast! Alien blast! Press start. Uh. That worked. There you go. I supposed to get the bullets? I guess. It's space invaders with a light gun. Oh, not very good. bullets. <laughs> <laughs> that might, yeah. Score why, zero. Why would it continue if you're out of bullets? Yeah. Just to show you how awful you are. Rub <laughs> 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 yeah. it in your face. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, can I start over? Game over. Game over. Alien blast. That was good uh, speech. Yeah. The digitized sound. Yeah. Can't see your crosshairs. You have no you have six idea. shots left. Five shots. No idea where you're aiming. Four, three, oh. two, one. This I got one! Left. I got one! You ran out of this shots. Is a good, this is a good arcade game where you take all your money, right? Yes. <laughs> That's right. Wow. Um, so, Space Invaders with a light gun. And not a bad idea. Uh, you just need I think, more shots, I think. I think those things they're dropping are extra shots. Let me try one more. Okay. Just so I can see if I can get one of the. Oh, no! Because you can't even shoot holes with the bullets you have. Space Invaders Frenzy in the arcade is awesome. Oh, never heard of that. Uh, light Gun? Light Gun Space Invaders game? The neighbors thought hearing that guy shout into his microphone. We shout all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what our neighbors think. Open. Four shots. Oh, I swear I got it. Zero shots. Oh, wow. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Wow. Uh, next one is Fly Shoot. Mm. Sounds that sounds terrible. Awesome. Yeah, yep. shooting flies. Mm -hmm. Pretty fast. But they're big flies. They're big chunky flies. Hopefully. I had to play all these games beforehand and note down which port they go into. Oh. This one didn't work at first. Okay. Um, so I had to find a fixed version of it. Cool. Oh, this one is... Oh, it is a countdown, so you're trying to get as many as you can. Oh, it does yeah. have initial on the edge there. It does. I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, it's... Oh, you can get it. Oh, it, uh, oh now it's come back. You can get it. No. <laughs> no. Let's go right up to the screen. There you go. It's to do with the angle. And the, the overscan again, too, right? Yeah.
Made by Kamel Ezkan in 1993. We're getting through the years. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. 63, 62 seconds. <laughs> you, know, you, don't to, you don't need to go to four minutes. It's a blast. blast. It's a blast. That's for on the left side. Oh, that's funny. The cat cam yeah. is pointing at the gun. <laughs> you get to see the action. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Get to see how close he is to the screen. <laughs> oh, they know the secret now. <laughs> yeah, when you're one inch away from the screen. We'll blame it on the overscan. Yeah, I, I think that'd be better. If it... This is very hard in the left and the right yeah. side. Yeah. I think it's because the angle, because if you're much further away and the TV was bigger, yeah, maybe it wouldn't be as a harsh of an angle. Yeah. I think that might be the reason. Because I think we're not far enough from the screen. Maybe. Because when you were playing Tanya, it was hard to shoot a lot. Uh, the, the Yay, 46. I was Flashing trying to line it up, score. and it would seem to be shooting all over the place. So, yeah, you have to get a little closer. How's your hand? Getting Good. that uh, old light gun... Uh... <laughs> Feel back. Yeah. 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 <laughs> light gun arthritis. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, all good. Mesa Hanau. From 1995. And I've made a note. Space to start. A tongue. Fair tea. Loose. Shoot the dots. They're not flies, they're dots now. And it's like it's exactly the same. It's counting up though with the sound. Oh the that's so funny. Up. Same grey background. Oh no. Ooh. It has defeated you. Oh gotcha. Found the Found a dead zone. There yeah. we go. Keep playing till someone scores a thousand. Oh my god. Wonder how hard the will get. Cats will start running away soon. Ah! Yeah. A high pitched sound. You can um, undo your point, I guess, by shooting the one again. Yeah, you can. Oh. So you have to avoid you your go. previous shots yeah. to lo not lose. Next one is Pajaki 2. My goodness. How many, how many of these are there? It's about nine left. Nine? Or eight okay. Left. Eight left. Quite a few games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, are quick it was little a games. lot more than I <laughs> thought. Um, Next, for, says for Yeah, <laughs> that one was Move it along. <laughs> very simple. Yeah. Oh, this is nicer. This has got a bit of background. See some oh. trees. Yeah, it's not over scanning. No, fun. should be fine. A tap one. I have no idea what language it is. Good chance it's Polish. Oh, neat. What, you Crack pots, but you're shooting them. Yeah. Like gun crack pots. Polish says pseudo graphics. Polish, yeah. Well, it's a good. Uh, oh my god, what? Did I accidentally shoot the wrong thing there? Or is that just an alternate death scene? Accuracy on this one is much better. And it doesn't go into the sides. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bravo, bravo. It's actually, yeah. Because W's are V's. BVG says, I would play this. This one seems cool. This yeah, one's not cool. bad. This, uh, a little bit more going on than the uh, shoot the dot. <laughs> yeah, shoot the dot. Yes. Don't unshoot the dot. Yeah. Also, if it's on the left and right, you can't shoot the dot. <laughs> yeah, it's too hard. <laughs> this one forgoes that problem yeah. by not putting things on left and right. Very smart, very smart. Oh, God. Oh, no. Spider almost made it to the ground. Why? Because you can't shoot its legs. You can't shoot its body. I really like the games where you can see where... Oh, no! Yeah. You where lose you points for each shot. miss, too. Oh, no. Better be going on accurate. Where you can see where you've shot is so good. Mm -hmm. Bravo! Premium. You know what that means. Extra bonus? 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 Yeah, bonus? Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Level three! Shoot those spiders. It is getting faster and... Oh, more spiders. Oh, a lot more spiders. I think if you shoot their, um, yeah, oh, no. their web, they make it to the ground. Mm, you break, you break it. Oh, yeah. they they fall to the that's ground. That's good. That's, oh, that's, that's smart. Very good. Yeah. This one's yeah. good. Not much going on, but it has something happening. Cats 
making noises. Mm. Mm. Licking himself over there. <laughs> no! No! I wonder if you can rescue yourself by um... Three digit level numbers. Beware, Sisters <laughs> or Cat Games. It just gets faster and faster and faster. Oh, you're running out of shot, I guess? You really? just keep going? Is it ah. shot? No, I don't think you can rescue yourself. Oh no, that's a countdown of how many you have to shoot to the end of the level. Oh, gotcha. is it? Yes. Nine. Eight. Yeah, that makes sense. Almost missile commandition feel. Yeah, oh, there is something yes. like that. Like it's sh coming down from the sky. Why isn't there a missile command? Light. Light gun game. Absolutely. Mm. There that be. doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Mm. Excellent game. Mm. That one's a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, next one is Guntress. Uh, this mm. one is interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Tetris with a light gun. That is interesting. I don't know if it works, but we'll uh, take a look at it. Like in terms of playability. Trackball for the win. <laughs> Trackball's, yeah, the best input for that. Here, come here. What, what, um... Um, so, what is it? Port no. one, port two, Gunters, port one. Okay, so you shoot the squares. But it's not actually, uh... Yeah, you can give it a little oh. things, actually. No. Hmm. I have port one as the note, but oh. I'll try port two. Try it now. No. Did I miss something? Oh, it's on joystick. That's why. automatically start? I do remember having to switch it to the light gun. I don't remember how. Nope. Space. No, why didn't I write it down? <laughs> <laughs> it seemed so obvious at the time, I guess. But, uh, when you Did it have an option when it was start first started? Um... Supports light gun in port one and ST mouse in port two. Well, See the graphics this, then. This game? Okay. Yeah. Well, let's try it again. Wait, 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 wait. I think I have to have it plugged in. Oh, there it is. There it is. So. There you go. Light gun. That's better. <laughs> so what do you what do you have to do then? Um, you have to hold it and move it or you have to make three in a row to make them disappear. Okay. So you don't get any score for shooting. Because you want them to fall. But it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to eliminate the ones that are going to mess up your three in a row. And does six color matter? Yes. Okay. Like, that's a unique tile. That Let's four see. is a unique tile. And once they land, you can get rid of them, though, right? Yes. So you want that, but you want a third one in the middle there. Right. On top, that's fine. You can leave that. Mm -hmm. So you want them in a row. Mm -hmm. So that yellow one there, eh, who knows? Eh, it's fine. You can always eliminate it later. Oh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. You could get four in a row. If you get another one. Oh, wrong spot. But leave that one. Yeah. Could you get a stack? This seems like very slow Tetris. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That's why I said, I don't know if it works. Oh, that one you want to eliminate. There. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Glitchy in the corner. Yeah, there's something nope. about not being able to shoot it at certain times. Hmm. I think you can only shoot the top and bottom ones. Oh, you want that? What are you doing? <laughs> you want that? <laughs> like, you can definitely shoot when they're falling. You can definitely shoot the bottom one. And you do have bullets, too, so you run out of bullets. Yeah, you want to kill that one. Ah, oh, just one over would have been perfect. It would have been. I want to see something. <laughs> it's yeah, it's a very slow. I mean, the concept, eh, good concept, but uh, execution. I don't know. It's pretty slow. If we uh, just keep shooting, what we don't want. Oh, you do run out of bullets. I know. <laughs> don't shoot 
Too many. We want to see some. Oh, leave that one. That one's good. Oh, no, get rid of that one. Oh my god, come on. One more yeah. over. I don't think, as a concept, oh, yay, we're this gonna is get the something. greatest. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> one line! Got some score. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't quite it work. quite work as a light gun game now. Okay, next one is Bemble Woe. I'm sure that translates nicely. In Polish. Bemble Woe. Bemble Woe. Which is probably pronounced Bemble Woe. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This one does definitely does not work as a game. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, the opening screen looks really nice. Go for it. No. I mean, it doesn't... It's not accurate enough. Can you... Why? What? Why is it so fast? <laughs> Who can how, read that? How are you supposed to read that? There's two pages of it. <laughs> Who could, could read that? Do you have to hit start, James? No. You have to wait for this. Oh, you have to what? Read all this. It's the same thing twice. Was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's the same thing. Going up and up oh. and up. Something me. Speed uh, too. So there's like options. Explosions? Speed. Water can rebound you. But we're just going to start with the basics. Okay. And before you start, mm -hmm. to, sh to move it, you have if you shoot to the left of it, it'll move to the right. I see. And there will be a hole after you move it. So you have to get it to there, so you have to shoot above it to get it below it. I think I shot just beside it. Oh, oh! Good yeah, luck, because it's against a wall now. <laughs> nice car. Yeah, it's bizarre. I think you're supposed to get those circles? <laughs> <laughs> no. Instructions go by fast, but over and over. Those oh, water hazards. Well, they turn into water. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, some of them are filled in now. I did not aim that. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> and then, and then your ball kind of disappears at certain points. Ooh, it's getting to be a more advanced level. <laughs> I mean, this I can is very odd. <laughs> I can see what they're going for, right? So many unnecessary light gun implementations in this bag. <laughs> but it's still bad, says so you it's still bad. This is crazy. Oh, this should be doable, come on. Oh. Maybe I'll go to you. Do one more, and then we'll move on. Almost or something. <laughs> okay. So the next five don't actually work. Oh, <laughs> so are we playing them or are you just going to show them? We're just going to show them. Okay. So the next one's called <coughs> Hit the Mole. It does not work. Whack a mole? Um, people in the forums have tried to get this to work. But no, no but luck? It just does not. A good, does name, not work. A good name for a mole game. With a light gun would be holy moly. Yeah, yeah. holy yeah. moly. Holy <laughs> moly. <laughs> I like that. So I'm guessing you're supposed to shoot the thing as it moves around. I've unplugged the light gun. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can plug it in, but I don't think it, it like just goes all over the place. Like, yeah. Like it goes nuts. Yeah. yeah it's, it's almost like it's, oh, here, when I hold down, oh, you unplugged it. Okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. He just right? says, did those last five actually work? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, I got one. I got one. <laughs> you got some score. Just hold it yeah. down. You hold down the button and then it works and then oh. you let go. It's inverted. Oh, it's inverted. See, somebody didn't program very well. Right. Okay. Next one is Sniper 2007. Mm. This one. Are you gonna are you gonna try and attack something? Sprite? The gun. Sprite! And this is a um pal game, that's why it doesn't work. Hmm. Sprite's turn, exactly. Yeah. You wanna turn Atari? Well, we'll take a look at it so we can see the screen. Mm -hmm. De crunching. De crunching. <laughs> and then I say select change to gun. There we go. Oh my. I mean, it 
looks like it has good graphics, but um, it, it just does. doesn't work because the it's metal. It's jumpy. And it's jumpy. It's hard to look at. Anyone having a seizure, seizure out there? <laughs> backwards flying dragon. Oh, wow. <laughs> it does have pretty cool graphics, actually. Yeah, yeah it does look Ooh, decent. Look at that mouse running. That's really good. Mm -hmm. But it does not work. You need a PAL CRT. I, I have a PAL computer, mm -hmm. but I don't have a PAL CRT. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Nope, says Crunchy. <laughs> nope. Next one's Gangsters. Not Gangsterville. Gangsters. I believe it's the same concept. Shoot the gangsters in the window kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And we're up to 2007. Oh. Lots of people attempting to make like gun games. Mm -hmm. Well, th these work in PAL land. It, oh, I see. Okay. I just don't have So a, it's not that they don't work. It's, I just don't have a PAL here. Gotcha. Just going to load. PAL gangsters are the most dangerous. <laughs> PAL gangsters. <laughs> they are not your PAL. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Why is this like it's loading? So I have press start for game. Gangster, the gangster is loading. <laughs> the gangster is almost loaded. On a percent gangster. Cool, cool title screen. Mm -hmm. um, if, I, if I hold the, <laughs> it stops moving. <laughs> I mean, it looks really good. Yeah, it does. It looks like uh, was it Gangster Alley? Yes. But it just. It doesn't work on NTSC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the graphics are really, really nice. Mm -hmm. But not for us, unfortunately. Next one's called Click. And it's PAL. Happy New Year! 2009! Chris Martin. And it just goes up on the screen. Sure, what you're supposed to do if it doesn't work? Shoot the things. Yeah, shoot, shoot the things as they appear. It says it's on joystick. Right? Nice, we've got another Christmas one. Mm -hmm. I like uh, the snowman who's like Let's try it again because it looked like it lazing and winking at you and waving. It's like being very flirtatious. That's a very flirtatious. So the, it's in the bottom of the Girl, G, I kill the snowman first. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that was, that was oh, this might work. Cause the screen is fine. Yeah. Oh, it Wait, works. <gasps> Nuts. What? Oh no! Oh, it worked for a second. What is working? Oh, you have to do matches. Oh no. Two times? You shoot. Before they disappear. Oh, it's not the center. <laughs> is that a penalty? Because you, uh, maybe. You shot the feature. Is it a feature? Yeah, maybe it is oh. a penalty. What are you not supposed to shoot? I think you're right, it might have to be doubles. Oh no. Presents are okay. Oh, there's the flirty stuff. Oh, you get more and more as you get um, two, four times. So fast. Oh my god. That's cool. Oh my god, it's falling Whoa. off. Oh, you want to try? Neat. Yeah. Okay. That's neat. Okay, Christmas cake. Mm -hmm. I right, guess you're right in the Christmas movie. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Just skip right over Halloween. <laughs> That's right. Ra 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 Bell? Yeah. Nostalgic oh, says the pokey no Christmas tunes make this world worthwhile. Right. No! But is it like purposeful? Random? Or is it squishy? Like, it's yeah. penalizing me. For sure. Because that's think always so? the same amount of time that it's... Um... Or maybe just randomly does that? No, uh, no bell. No candles. I like the candle. I'm going to try a candle again right away. What? Oh, 
because there's only one on the screen? Oh, look, there's lots of bells. bells. Do all the trees. Level two. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you have two bunches of them. Right? Like, if there's only one, don't do it. Good. Stockings still good. Bells, stockings. There's drums now. There's drums. I figured out something about the game. No! No! You hit a stocking. I hit a cat tail. Oh, drums? Puppies. There's tons of drums. How come I couldn't shoot a drum? How am I not allowed No bells, no drums. Looks <laughs> like a jittery light. Am I allowed to shoot like. Yeah, this one I do new, look very chill. New things? Not traditional things. Only new things. I, I don't know what's going on, but it's mm -hmm. uh, it's interesting. Let's some, need? Just shoot some oh, Christmas. No, Maybe I'll do another one. Don't then. shoot whatever icon is showing in the center. Maybe. Nope. In the center. Is there always a center icon? Oh. Oh, does it change? It does change. Oh, so don't, no, don't that's shoot it. that. No. Oh, I see. Okay. You I got see. it. You decoded it. Nostalgia. Good one. Mm -hmm. That's why one is broken. Now you can kick out. <laughs> Which just, yeah, you're right, that's exactly what it is. Yep. Yeah, this one again, for Christmas. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, this is definitely on the Christmas We need Christmas list. ones. So we do have a Christmas show. We're desperate to find games. Christmas games, yeah. Oh, can't go right up to the screen. Oh, no. There you go. You're making it so far, we can hear the whole song. <laughs> <laughs> it's warping to the next Christmas. So. Good music. Really good. Hokey Christmas. I think you just need to play this in the background for the Christmas show. I think so. I think so. Just I the thinking. whole time. This music. And, ah! and there's no. Um, there's no sound, no sound, sound effects. Yeah, oops, it's right. okay. So it's perfect. Just play this really well. Don't talk. <laughs> Record the music. Oh, oh wait. Is that distraction? Merry Christmas. Okay. I guess the candy cane is supposed to be eaten. That's brilliant. You can mount this on the camera. <laughs> Should have a GoPro as a barrel cam. Okay, I'm going to try that out. Yeah, that works. Does it? Yep. I think it goes a bit wonky with the timing, depending on the angle, but it works pretty well. Ah! Oh no, I hit a bell! <laughs> like watching Doom, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> falling behind. No, I hit a drum! Oh, it's going nuts. There's too many on the screen. Oh, I made it. Oh, what is that thing? What is that thing? Whatever it is. I don't have to worry about it. Oh, it's different decorations now. It's uh, fireworks, yeah. I made it to New Year's.
Boom, boom, boom. No, clock. That's pretty cool. The camera cam. The uh, gun cam. I mean. <laughs> camera cam. <laughs> it does work. Camera cam. Cam. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Wow. much more rapidly as you go up the levels. You know what kind of camera you have to mount on the gun? What? The cannon. That's bad. That's so good. <laughs> what are those? Uh, they're like... Fireworks? You things? Blow? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, now we're into... Uh, it's New Year's. New Year's. It's New Year's. Yeah. This is yeah. amazing, this game. <laughs> it's so good. The Glad to... The fact that you're aiming, your aimer is on the screen at all times. Mm -hmm. It's so colorful. Look at the uh, the view up here too. It's pretty, pretty neat. Gun cam. Oh, the gun cam! <laughs> all nice. Yeah. This is so cute. Okay. All okay. right, we can't keep playing this. Mm -hmm. This is definitely on the Christmas list. Definitely. Uh, that was called Click. Click, definitely. An now unexpectedly we're... good game, says Carl G. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to play a game by Vitoko. Oh, Vitoko. I don't think it works, though, because oh. it is PAL. PAL. Toy oh, Swap. Toy Swap. Option. We've got more schlock to get to. Move on. <laughs> more schlock. <laughs> <laughs> Can't. Cats. Okay, so you have to get hit pointers. This never ends, unfortunately. Oh, is it just a is is it just a gem game? Uh, yes. You're flipping things. I tried to calibrate it, but the calibration just goes on forever. Oh. You did it! Oh my gosh. What are you supposed to do? Left to right, you flip, oh, flip them. them. Yeah, yeah. Just a gem drop game. I'm not sure how it flips. It just flips the left. There you go. Oh, you got it working. Hooray! Oh. Get to play Vitoko's game. Is this one of his ten-liners? I don't, don't think so. don't think it's a ten-liner. This is way too... It seems more sophisticated. The graphics. There's too like many graphics. graphics wise, yeah. yeah. Too many graphics for ten-lines. Mm -hmm. Could be a big ten-lines. Vitoko here today? Good try. Not here today. Oh no. That's a that one. Yay. It's the they're very small, mm -hmm. so it, so you can only flip left and right. Uh, Hi. Coming in? Yeah? Don't yeah. Combo! Mega combo! Oh, I got to round two. That was a good combo. Come on. I wonder how it knows. Because with the keyboard, you specify which direction to yeah. flip. Mm. This one. Oh, a... It just looks for a match, I think, and automatically is flips the, to it. The first hit places the thing, and the second hit actually flips. Oh. Oh, you can flip up. Oh. Are you happy, Dave? Oh, it does. Yes. It does flip. Mm -hmm. You're right. So you can flip upwards. Too. He is. A like your team. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm gonna get four. Yeah. Uh, it's a good. I mean, I don't know if this is the right input for the game. Mm -hmm. It does allow keyboard too. So it's just an option. Mm -hmm. Mm. So it's not really a light gun game, it just has enough like an option. Yeah. Nice. This would be good for a pen, a light pen. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think. Very right. good input. So that would work too, if you have a light pen. There we go. Mm. Excellent. Uh, really cool uh, graphics in this game. Music's a little short. Uh, the next one is very interesting. It. Okay. Yez Yezkovi Voki. Um, it's 
by Fandel. And it is made for people with visual impairments. Hmm. And it has voice and sound. Wow. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit here. And it'll tell you how close you are to the target by the sound. The higher the pitch, the closer you are. Is the loading key? Oh, I think I needed to change it to light gun. Ah, no. No. Oh, port two. That's why. Need to be in port two. And pseudo graphics filled in a lot of information for me about this game. Hmm. Oh, oh, Sprite's chewing the cables. So as you move, it's very expensive. Oh. So you move the gun around. The higher the pitch, the closer you are. That's cool. Turn down the brightness. There. Relax. Now we can simulate it. That's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Now get it cheap. It doesn't quite work. You have to close your eyes. Oh, I have to close my eyes. Okay. So it was labeled as a very simple game written for a private Atari party, uh, Silk 2014-2015. Um, Pseudographics provided some background. He said, one of my friends is visually impaired, and his girlfriend is completely sightless. So they got an idea to make an Atari game, which would not require visual feedback, and this is the result. It navigates through sounds. This game was released and issued 59 of Flop Magazine. The name of the game translates to Hedgehog's Eyes. Ah. Which in Czech kind of is kind of like saying, oh my god. Mm. Also, hedgehogs have very bad eyesight, ah. as they don't use it very much. What is he doing? Scratching. Get out of there. Tell him not to. Get out of there. Can yes. I give it a go? It's kind of neat, actually. Oop. I'm not sure that seeing it actually helps. Yeah, it's it does. Yeah? So you just close your eyes. That's right. Oh. Stay still. <laughs> <laughs> Good <Yes>. job. <laughs> Here, try yeah. it out. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Close your eyes. Are your eyes closed? Yeah. There. Oh, that's it. I'll start it again. Again? I didn't do that. Carl G says I tried to make an all audio game, but it was one of my losses in my laptop crash. Should have called this game Use the Force. <laughs> ah. 
You could make a joystick game like this, where something's... We've played a game like that. Where it's a grid and you have to listen to it. Didn't Thomas Wrench make that game? Where something... What was it? Capture the Flag or something? We played another sound game. And it was very cool as well. I was cheating at the end. If you hold your gun exactly still after you get it, it's just boom, boom, bullseye all day long. Yeah. Need subtitles. Okay. <laughs> yes. Cool. Really, really cool game. Mm -hmm. I like uh, seeing games uh, for people that uh, are not able to play them normally. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I've seen some blind people play... Um, fighting games based yeah. on the sound mm. like street fighter yeah because they can hear because each move has its own sound mm -hmm. so they know how to um defend themselves against that move based on the sound it's absolutely amazing and i think we have one more left hey. it's called invasion and i don't know the year it's the only one i couldn't find a year for the button on the pistola and the music is from Jean-Michel Jarre is it oxygen part two Interesting. I had to look that up so I was like I know that music oh it's Jean-Michel Jarre it's oxygen which part part two very fast paced <laughs> and amazing graphics very nice graphics Check the copyright on the back of the retail box. Yeah. Uh, I don't have the box. No. Awesome creature graphics. Agreed. Agreed. Isn't that graphic. mysterious developer that posts on YouTube then deletes it later? Oh, Simo. It might have been Simo's game. That's true. They make really unique money. <laughs> oh, you're not. Are you? Oh, you're not. Really good graphics and animation. Excellent. Because it's the last game, I will play too. I like, really like the music. Oh, yeah. Music and graphics, excellent. Both mm -hmm. excellent. It feels like it's, you're watching a little wide screen. <laughs> yeah. Danny and I saw Jean-Michel Jarre we in did. San Francisco a yes. couple years ago. It was the coldest concert I've ever been to. Freezing. It, it was, was so outdoor. hot during the day. And Blazing then, hot during the day. And then the sun went down and we were freezing cold. So it was like, we don't need jackets. It's no. so hot. Like we're so sweating. Then the sun goes down. It's like, oh yeah. yeah. And then they charge you like 60 US for a little tiny little lap. Like a thin, fleece, thin, thin lap blanket. It was so thin. And we were just huddled. We <laughs> just cuddled in this blanket. Like, can't afford two, just one. The same author as Cemetery. Oh. I didn't notice that, so I, I yes. thought it might be around 1989 because yes. the other one is. Very nice. All right. You don't have to play. Very cute. It is really good sounding graphics. And, and kind of a cute game, too. Yep. All right. Hopefully that won't get me a copy strike, but it probably will. Uh, it's too sucks. accurate. And Jean Michel's Jar's music is synth, and this is synthy. Yeah. So sounds a lot like it. Very very close. Very cool. So there were uh, a number of light pen programs that weren't really games that I did that we didn't play because they're like drawing things mm. and stuff like that. that but I'll sense. I'll show the list really briefly. And uh, so. It's time. Yeah. Yep. Do you hope, I hope something's still open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll find. Oh, yeah. There's Sorry. lots of late night choices. And it's Friday. Yeah. So here's... Here, Someone will feed This us. is one of the lists I use to find the, the games. So there's the list. Nice. Um, and there's um, programs for light pens. Some of them we did play um, that you can play. But, I mean, you know, paint and sketch... 
Peripheral Vision, Simon. I mean, some of them are kind of games, I guess, mm -hmm. but they're more for light pens, like really detailed things on the screen. No light gun option for the 5200. Completely different connector. I don't think there was ever a light one gun made. made. Yeah. I didn't look into it because I don't have one. So. Um, so let's look at what's coming up on the show. That was quite an adventure. It uh, took years to get around to doing this show because I had to get the light gun and yep. figure get the out the screen setup. worked out. Work yep. worked out. Yeah. Um, next episode is possibly, probably the ABBUC contest entries. Depends how fast they release them to the public. Usually, it's quite quickly, quite quick. It's uh, they start. Ab they're able to release them on October first, so it's quite a mad scramble to get it to the third. But we should be able to do that. There's about. 16 of them, I think. So we're going to do two days okay. of the ABBUC yeah, contest entries. Ooh, uh, mm. That's an After Dark Dragon's Havoc 1942 that we'll be doing on the 6th, possibly. Uh, there might be something special on the 10th coming up that I can't fill in yet. But uh, if not, there'll be some random games. And then we're off to PRGE. Yay, we'll be doing some Portland. live broadcasting from Portland. Portland mm -hmm. Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, the 8-bit game number three from Tuesday. Yeah, I have it uh, right here. Ridiculous Reality. Yes. So that might actually go to the 10th. Gotcha. If, but I think there's another game we're going to play there. It's a, I think, exclusive world premiere okay. on the 10th. Nice. I can't mention it yet because it's not for sure. Um, Doom Slayer Edition for the Jaguar. We have the exclusive world premiere of it on October 20th. You definitely want to tune in for that. Uh, Halloween Homebrew Special. I've got one game, so <laughs> we have to find some more games. You know, at least three or four. Mm -hmm. Something, uh, yeah. at least gory. Yeah, scary, gory monsters, things like Something. that. Um... Then we have the four-player special late October, early November. Now that it's cooler outside, it hasn't been really hot anymore. Atari uh, Jaguar 30th anniversary, uh, starting on November 23rd for three days. Um, let's see. Uh, and then in 2024, February, <laughs> the sixth annual Atari Homebrew Awards nominee playthrough. Wow. Oof. That's way too in the That's future. getting, getting... Yeah, off. getting yeah. off track there. <laughs> Didn't and I just finished doing the awards for the last one? Uh, so. You did. Yes. Yeah. We'll get them done faster this yes, time. Yes, we will. <laughs> and, uh, and then we'll do the 7800 40th anniversary classic gaming countdown in uh, 2024? May 21st, 2024. Wow. Okay. It's the 40th anniversary of the Atari 7800. Yeah. So mm -hmm. lots of lots of cool things in the future. Super fun show. Very ambitious to show all the light guns games for every. <laughs> yeah. You know, we go hard here. <laughs> you do it. You do it right. Do the whole thing. <laughs> you do it fully. No half measures. That's right. I mean, I could have yeah. split it up into two shows, but this is a mess, and I want to go back to normal as soon as possible. <laughs> I didn't want this hanging around. Yeah. No links light guns. Well, yeah. no, because it's a handheld. <laughs> so <laughs> imagine holding it with your hand and then shooting it. Yeah, yeah. no, it doesn't work. Um, thanks for hanging out with us for this kind of marathony three hour. Not super long, but no. longer than normal. Long enough, yeah. And uh, thanks for to Dave yeah. for yes. sitting in. It was lots of fun. Thanks. Yeah, it was a good uh, good show to play. Uh, to for play. sure. Yeah. yeah. Easy. Shoot the screen. Exactly. Easy. My kind of game. <laughs> uh, thanks, Carl G. Smitty B. Um, and uh, thank you for your awesome game yes. that we played on the show. Uh, pseudo graphics. Oh, I'm looking forward to four player. I want to get four light guns and really stress test it. And light yeah. it up. Yeah. Light Nostalgic. Up. Pseudo graphics. Dan ABC. Double down. Uh, RC70. Phaser Cat Games. It's Kev. It's Kev. See you tomorrow. Um, for some more video games. Who else? Who else? Lopta Iopta or, or Lopta. Lopta. I'm not sure. Iopta. Yeah, it's bad font. <laughs> uh, D Train early on. Rod Castler. Um, Annihilation. Annihilation. Oh, Elite Speak. <laughs> um, and that's it. Yay. Thanks for hanging out with us on a Friday. Yeah. Uh, have Hope a great you enjoy your Friday night. weekend. I'll have my uh, birthday tomorrow. Have yes. fun there at the arcade. Yeah. And 
and then uh, party afterwards. That sounds good. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah. see you all back on uh, Tuesday uh, with Tanya again. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, have a great night and have a great weekend. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.